Excuse the Association of Green County. Ted Sobin's done body and fender repair. The Radcliffe Martin Law Firm. Novacare Rehabilitation. George Dental Associates. KC Sports Cafe. SWGI, now a part of U.S. Digestive Health. Sandy Howe Notary Services. The Brewston Chiropractic Studio. Target Safety Solutions. Fact, the C. Harper Auto Group. m and Transit. The Uniontown Printing Press. Joby's Golf. The Sprouse Insurance Group and Insurance Agent David Hughes, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, Gary Zotto Sales, K2 Engineering, Magisterial District Judge Nathan Henning, the Delarose Law Offices, the Fay West Glass Company, Potter's Bar and Grill, State Farm Agent Lauren Yeoman, Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer, Thurby's Riverside Ford, the Gates Funeral Home and Crematory, Uniontown Dental Associates, Shop and Save, Uniontown Detailing, Movement Physiotherapy, Autoland Hyundai of Uniontown, the T. Berry Law Offices, Peach and Pharmacy, Zen's Construction Warehouse, the Catholic War Veterans, both 1669 in Hopwood, Ford of Uniontown, UPMC Rehabilitation Institute and Physical Therapist Jim Burns, Uniontown Mayor Bill Gerke, Cherokee Recycling, Mama Ruka's Pizza Shop, Stewart Collision, and by attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt at Watson Mundorf LLP. Now stay tuned for the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show here on WMBS. From Uniontown High School, it's time for high school basketball action here on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network and Facebook Live this afternoon. The 18-3 Uniontown Red Raiders host the 19-1 Berlin Brothers Valley Mountaineers. Brian Morozak along with Tony Hanula, Billy Dice behind the camera and our Facebook Live video feed and Bill Madden and Nick Barczak back at sign, our Davis & Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. Our pregame show being brought to you by the Sprouse Insurance Group and insurance agent David Hughes. They will get you ready for the game. They're located at 217 West Main Street in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-9812 for the Sprouse Insurance Group. Our live video stream courtesy of Shop and Save, Walnut Hill Plaza, Uniontown. And attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Whip at Watson, Mundorf, LLP. And Tony, this should be a pretty good one here this afternoon. Uniontown coming off an impressive 85-44 win over Laurel Highlands last night. Berlin Brothers Valley, they're 19-1. and They haven't lost a game since December the 13th, and they were knocked off by Greensburg Central Catholic. Yeah, and they're always a good team, Brian. We've seen them over the years in the playoffs, and they're always well-schooled, always well-disciplined, and they always have a very good team. A lot of tough defense, great rebounding, and looking at these stats, I mean, you got a couple guys that can fill it up in Craig Jarvis and Pace Prosser. The Mountaineers were last in action on Wednesday when they downed Williamsburg 82-32, to the wrap of the regular season Tuesday against Mountain Ridge. You mentioned some of those players to watch on the Berlin Brothers Valley side, Craig Jarvis and Pace Prosser. In fact, Prosser, an opportunity to go over 2,000 career points. We have them unofficially at 1970 going into this afternoon's game. And that's an impressive career, no doubt about it, when you can score 2,000 points. We saw Rod Gallagher do it last year for the Mustangs, but when you can score 2,000 points in a high school, career that's impressive and the Mountaineers they played for a state championship two of the last three years in single A yeah lost to a good Amani Christian team last year basically had them outsized with a couple guys 6'10 and 6'11 but you're right a good program and like I said to make it to the state finals two out of the last three years you know you have a good program up there and Uniontown looking solid again especially over their last three games against South Moreland Elizabeth Ford and Laurel Highlands and they're showing great form and peaking at the right time right before the WPIL playoffs yeah we were a little worried about them there and that uh over the last couple of weeks, they kind of struggled a little bit, but seemed to be putting things back together. A couple impressive wins this week against Elizabeth Forward and the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Should be a fun one here this afternoon. We'll talk to Uniontown head coach Rob Kesmarski when the Sprouts Insurance Group pregame show continues here on WMBS. I'm Bill Martin, and along with my partner Trip Radcliffe and Rob Harper, are attorneys at Radcliffe Martin Law. Our primary focus at Radcliffe Martin Law is representing people hurt in accidents. However, we handle workers' compensation claims, estate planning, real estate matters, and class actions. Radcliffe Martin Law is your hometown firm that offers conveniences not possible with Pittsburgh firms and provides better service than those firms. Radcliffe Martin Law, your local injury attorneys. 724-439-3930. Novacare Rehabilitation is now in Masontown. Using a personalized plan of care and one-on-one -on -one sessions, Novacare gives you an advantage in rehabilitation. Dr. Haley Cruiser and our professional staff are certified to use industry-leading treatments, including LVST Big Therapy for Parkinson's disease, which increases mobility, improves balance, and decreases time necessary to complete tasks. These services supplement Novacare's exceptional orthopedic, concussion, and vestibular dysfunction resources. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call our new Mason Town office on Route 21 McClellan Town Road at 724-491-5220. Take the back. Fayette County's got it. Convenient and comfortable. Take the back. Anywhere in Fayette County, we'll get you there. With all 
all this snow, I don't know how I'll get to the doctor's office and get my shopping done. At my age, I can't drive in this weather. Don't fret. Let FACT do the work. FACT? Yes. Fayette Area Coordinated Transportation. They have multiple programs to get you where you need to go. All FACT buses are safe, reliable, handicap accessible, and have free Wi-Fi. Well, that sounds great. Just make a reservation the day before your trip by 2 p.m. Call the FACT office at 724-628-RIDE or visit factbus.com. Thanks. I'll call FACT right now. Chris Parker, Jr., what's going on for February at Autoland Hyundai? Well, this year's leap year. There's President's Day, and don't forget Valentine's Day. Interest rates have been high, but you'll love this. 0% financing available on 2024 Tucson's and new 2023 Santa Fe. Or up to $9,000 savings off select all-wheel drive Santa Fe. And here's another sweetheart of a deal. Lease a 2024 Elantra SE for only $199 per month. Just see us for details. What else do you have going on? Well, President's Day reminds us of great leadership. Just as Hyundai leads the way by offering Hyundai Owner Assurance, America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain protection. And leap year is an extra. Day. So with Hyundai's sales event cash, you'll save an extra $1,000 on all new remaining 2023 Hyundai. Plus three-year, 36,000-mile free complimentary maintenance. Visit their website, autolandhyundai.com, or stop by their location, 25 East Fayette Street in Union Town. And remember, you always pay less to drive the best at Autoland Hyundai. Bad hair day? Bad day at the office? Bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprowls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. Primer Ozak back here on the Sprouls Insurance Group pregame. Show Union Town wrapping up their high school basketball regular season this afternoon, taking on Berlin Brothers Valley. Being joined now by Union Town head coach Rob Kesmarski and Rob, your Red Raiders have clinched their 51st section title in school history now, and I think that really says a lot about your Union Town program. Well, we take we take pride in that, and the and the kids um, the kids have done a great job with that, and um, over the years it's something that it's, it's a WPR record, and if you want to get a top seed, you have to win the section. But again, it's also nice to see their, see their name for the rest of their lives when they come in. They'll say 2024 section championship. So we take pride in that, and the kids work really hard. So um, it was something that's it's special to us, and um, now we now we go to our next goal. Well, a lot of competitive teams in the uh, 4A playoff field. The committee's going to meet over the weekend, and Monday morning we'll have the playoff pairings out. Two o'clock on Monday. How do you see things shaking out? Do you look at the 4A? playoff field, I think it's going to be a tough one for the committee to kind of put together. Well, I just hope, um, I hope they really look at the um, stuff. I've been, um, with, I'm not the kind of coach that complains about things, but the thing is, basically, whatever they give you, you have to play. But everybody's talked, everybody around here in our community, our supporters, and our family, our coaches, we tried to make the toughest exhibition schedule possible, and we really did. And I hope they consider, like, when we played Baldwin without Calvin Winfrey, our point guard won the better point guard than Dave Payel, and almost beat them on their home floor. Um, hopefully hopefully that kind of stuff gets taken in consideration. Um, hopefully whenever you see the Tribune top ten teams, now we were in there early in the year, um, TJ, we beat. Alacrupo, we beat. That we beat, they may be ranked higher than us now, but, again, our exhibition schedule, it's like um, that's what we did, and um, we wanted to do that, and... Um, sometimes, like in, in some of their rankings, some of the teams lose and um, they don't get penalized for us, but then we drop. So, But, again, we can't control that. And I hope, hopefully they also look at last year that we almost um, went to that we were one game away from the state championship. We have an opportunity to end the regular season on a high note this afternoon, taking on a very solid program in Berlin Brothers Valley out of District 5, and they were in the state finals last year in 1A. Oh, yes, Berlin, uh, there's a reason they've called us. Um, they, they haven't called us in 23 years for a game. It's a credit to them. They're trying to play tough exhibition games, too. Um, they went to the state championship last year. The coach does a great job. They have some really good um, really good players. Uh, our, our, our junior, our JV, and our, our um, um, Trevor Uphold is really good friends with a lot of them. So he's our, he's our secret scout for the game. So he's been giving us a great update. But they have a great program. Great coaches, very respectful, and um, it's going to be a good game for both teams. 
That's Union Town head coach Rob Kazmarski. We'll talk to Berlin Brothers Valley's head coach Tanner Prosser when the Sprouts Insurance Group pregame show continues right after this. The Davis and Davis Law Firm has been helping injured people in Fayette County for over 45 years. If you've been injured and you need an attorney, call today. One of our six attorneys will come and meet with you if your situation is such that you can't come to us. We will not rest until we get the maximum amount of money for you that you deserve. I'm attorney James Davis, and I will fight for you. Call me today at 724-437-2799. Uniontown Detailing offers an all-inclusive auto care experience. Services include full auto detailing, professional ceramic coating, window tinting, undercoating, paintless dent repair, and more. Uniontown Detailing has moved to a new location on 255 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. Stop by and check them out today. Best of luck this season to all local teams from Uniontown Detailing. From chips and cracks to splits and shatters, if you need new glass, Fay West Glass Company is the one to call. Fay West Glass has served Fayette and Greene counties for over 25 years and specializes in residential glass installations and replacements, plus commercial and industrial glass. So when that window's busted or that sliding door shattered and you can't wait, Fay West is available. 724-439-8600, that's 724-439-8600. Proudly local and veteran-owned, Fay West Glass will earn your business. Are you considering a project design and don't know where to start? K2 Engineering offers a wide range of professional civil, architectural, and municipal services to meet your individual project needs. Our versatility, combined with our personalized approach, is what sets us apart as a full-service engineering and consultation firm. To learn more about our services, please visit us on the web at www.k2engineering.net. K2 Engineering, where customer service is our priority. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Fatty liver is the buildup of excess fat in liver cells and affects about 100 million people in the U.S. Risk factors include being overweight, diabetes, high cholesterol, and hypertension. If you have fatty liver, our team at U.S. Digestive Health urges you to talk to your doctor about getting a blood or ultrasound-based test to check for liver scarring that can lead to cirrhosis. For more information, call us at 724 724- 437-7677. Good times and good food. It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potter's on Facebook. We'll see you at Potter's. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m. Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Hey, you looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle? Well, look no more. Because with over 200 vehicles, Gary's Auto Sales is the largest used car dealer in the area. Whether you want a car, a truck, or an SUV, you'll absolutely find what you're looking for at Gary's. Gary's has been in business since 1974. You can visit them online at garysautosales.com or you can give them a call at 724-626-8080. Gary's Auto Sales. Many miles, many smiles. The high school basketball regular season wrapping up this afternoon with Union Town taking on Berlin Brothers Valley, being joined now by Tanner Prosser. He's the head coach of Berlin Brothers Valley and coach of program sitting at 19-1 and with two games left on the regular season, getting set to take on Union Town this afternoon. Yeah, um... Uh, you know, I'm pretty pleased with how we're playing. Uh, you know, at this point in the season, just trying to get better each day, try to get ready for the playoffs. Um, so, you know, looking forward to Saturday will by far be our, be our biggest challenge. Um, but it's, it's what we need to see. Your son and Jarvis uh, both continue to play well. See, so looking at your stats, averaging over 20 points a game each. Yeah, I mean, we lead on those guys. They're, they have the most experience. They've both been starting since they were sophomores. Um, so we kind of count on them to lead. Um, but we've other guys that have been producing, especially here late. So, um, you know, I feel like we have, a, we have a solid group all together. 
Remember, we mentioned the Uniontown game on Saturday. You'll also play Mountain Ridge next week. Talk about how the five, uh, the District 5 playoffs are going to shake out for your program and how that's going to work uh, entering the uh, state tournament as well as we get into March. Yeah, after we finish out the, the regular season here, we actually have a conference uh, semifinal and final that will be next weekend, and then we'll have about a week off until we start district play. We'll get a bye in the first round and then uh, – host the semi and then, and then hopefully we'll make it to the championship um and then yeah i mean we have a we have a real good shot at getting back into the state playoffs um and you know they, it's always very difficult when you get to that point but um you know i like what our guys are doing right now just got to continue to get better and hopefully we can make a run yeah certainly this matchup against union town a good playoff tune up for your program they're certainly going to be one of the uh top seeds probably in the uh four awpil tournament as well yeah, I mean, very, very impressive. Uh, you know, very skilled, play extremely hard, well coached, um, and you know, they just got some guys that can flat out play and fill it up. So um, they present a present a serious challenge and, and all the different things that they can do. But um, like I said, it's what it's what we need to see, win or lose. Um, it's a great opportunity for, like you said, us to play one of the top teams in 4A and the Whippy on, on their floor. So we're looking forward to it. How does that work for you, preparing for a game like this, especially against a team that likes to press and has so much team speed? Does that change the way you approach the game? Um, we kind of play the way we play. Um, you know, I mean, it, for us to for us to change for one game doesn't make a lot of sense. We're, we look big picture. Um, we we want to play a certain style in a certain way. Um, you know, obviously some of the things that that we're able to do well maybe at the single way level is a little tougher when you face a team like Uniontown, but um, we're not going to go away from what we do and how we play. Um, it's a great opportunity for us to see um, a little more size, a little, a, a little more, uh, maybe not a little more, a lot more athleticism and quickness. Um, and it, it only can make you better. Um, you know, it, if you can handle that, you know, you can handle some of the things that we may see in the playoffs. So it's just a, it's a good opportunity for us to see, see really good competition. Coach, appreciate your time. Best of luck on Saturday and throughout the rest of the season. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's Tanner Prosser, the head coach of Berlin Brothers Valley. Berlin Brothers Valley at Uniontown this afternoon. Boys High School basketball action here at WMBS. If you missed the Uniontown Laurel Highlands game from last night, Nick Barchak has a recap when we come back on the Sprouts Insurance Group pregame show here on WMBS. Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer litigated over 275 civil and criminal trials, some of which have been aired on Oprah, Inside Edition, and ESPN. Having an engineering degree, master's in business administration, and law degree qualifies him to go toe-to-toe with anyone. His firm concentrates in wills, trusts, estates, property transfers, personal injury, solar field and Marcellus gas negotiations, and family law. Small enough to care and smart enough to win. Phone 724-425-1162 or email Tommy Schaefer at Hotmail.com. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit GeorgeDentalAssociates.com today. That's GeorgeDentalAssociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. On the go? No time to stop? That's when you'll love Peach and Pharmacy's curbside pickup at Peach and Market in downtown Connellsville. Next time you have a prescription to get, let Peach and Pharmacy make it easy for you. Call ahead at 724 626 9600 or send a message. Let friendly curbside pickup keep you right where you want to be in the driver's seat. Peach and Pharmacy. When your car is damaged, the name to remember is Ted Silva and Son Body and Fender Repair. Currently in their 61st year of providing quality, reliable service to the community, Ted Silva and Son offers complete collision service, minor to major repairs, frame and unibody repairs, and glass installation. They'll gladly blueprint your vehicle for repair, and they'll work with your insurance company. With a paint booth that utilizes the environmentally friendly waterborne paint process, Ted Silva and Son not only cares for our community and our children, they care for our environment. 
Located on Atlas Road in Hopwood, it's the goal of Ted Sova and Son to alleviate the stress of an accident and assist you in any way possible. Take it from me, Matt Sapienza, an actual satisfied customer. Call 724-437-2351 for Ted Sova and Son Body and Fender Repair, LLC. Family owned and operated for 61 years. Always proud to support local high school sports. Looking for the highest quality products at the lowest prices? Shop and save on Walnut Hill in Uniontown is the widest selection of brands and the freshest offerings around. They specialize in your family's grocery needs. Save big and sign up for the Shop and Save Perks card to get money-saving benefits and discounts on gas. Shop and save. Walnut Hill Road, Uniontown, open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Working hard to offer you the best at Shop and Save because it's the just right thing to do. Your health is the most important thing to you. When you need physical therapy, find the best clinic to serve you. Movement Physiotherapy, now located off Route 40 on Pedro Drive, west of Uniontown, understands this and wants to help ease the stress. Tyler Gasick has over 10 years of experience helping people improve their health with physical therapy and is ready to help you. Tyler's from the Uniontown area and is committed to helping improve his community. To schedule your appointment, phone 724-912-PTPT or visit Movement Physiotherapy online at movementpp.com. Last night it was Fayette County's most famous crosstown rivalry is the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, host of the Uniontown Red Raiders for Rob Kesmarski's Red Raiders. It was a tune-up, one of their final tune-ups for the playoffs while John Smith's Mustangs playing out the string as their regular season would come to an end in their season overall as they came into the game with a 2-19 record. The Red Raiders coming in at 17-3, and and those records would play out on the court as the Red Raiders had a big lead early in the game. In the first quarter after the second timeout, the Red Raiders were up 22-2. to The route was on. The continuous clock was kicked in at the 2.30 mark of the second quarter. It was not officially enacted, though, until the start of the third quarter, but that's when the lead went up to 30. It was 36 to 12 for the Red Raiders after one, and then they were up 30 by halftime, 70 to 25 at one point at the three-minute mark of the third quarter. For the Red Raiders, it was Isaac Ellsworth who led the way in the first half with nine points, knocking down three threes. It would be the Red Raiders' leading scorer last night with 15. Lucas Suchovitz led the way for LH with nine. It was 75 to 28 Uniontown after three, and they would cruise on to an 85 to 44 victory, a big win. For the Red Raiders as they improved to 18-3 and three on the season with one more regular season game today to wrap things up for the playoff. Pairings are released on Monday for the Mustangs. That ends their season at 2-20, and 20, a disappointing first season for head coach John Smith. But for Rob Kazmarski's Red Raiders, a playoff berth, and now they will battle Berlin Brothers Valley at the A.J. Everhart Memorial Gymnasium today. They made the state finals last year. They're 19-1. and one. On the season, should be a great matchup, but last night it was all the Raiders again, led by 15 from Isaac Ellsworth. It was a big victory for Uniontown, 85-44 to over the Mustangs. For WMBS, I'm Dick Barchek. The T-Berry Law Office and Attorney Vincent M. T-Berry would like to thank everyone who voted them Best Law Firm and Criminal Defense Attorney in the 2023 Best in Fayette Contest. The T-Berry Law Office specializes in criminal defense, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. The T-Berry Law Office is located at 84 East Main Street, across the street from the Fayette County Courthouse in Union Town. Make your first call to Attorney Vincent M. T-Berry and the T-Berry Law Office. Phone 724-430-0300 or visit their new website at tberrylawoffice.com. The T-Berry Law Office. Small town, big results. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with white glove service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. Just that easy. Union Town Mayor Bill Gerke wishes our student athletes a great winter sports season. Mayor Gerke would also like to wish Union Town head coach Rob Kesmarski and the Union Town Red Raiders basketball team the best of luck this year. As the mayor of Union Town and proud graduate of Union Town Area High School, Mayor Gerke is happy to see our student athletes working hard both in the classroom and in their athletic events. 
Attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt at Watson Mundorf LLP wish all of our local teams the best of luck this year. Watson Mundorf is a premier regional law firm whose experience and expertise empower it to not only be an advocate for its clients, but also provide them with exceptional service to exceed expectations. With offices in Uniontown and Connorsville, they are local and here to serve you. Call 724 626 8882 for attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt. Brian Morozak and Tony Hanua back here at Uniontown High School. The Uniontown Red Raiders hosting Berlin Brothers Valley this afternoon. Tony is your starting lineup. It's being brought to you by SWGI Specialist, now U.S. Digestive Health at Uniontown. A different name, but the same team, providing the same exceptional digestive care to our communities. Wishing the best of luck to our Fayette County teams. Tony, take it away. All right, thanks, Brian. For the Uniontown Red Raiders today, who come in 18-3 overall, 9-1 in section play. Head coach Rob Kizmarski is assistant coach Ware Gladman. Their starters for today will be number double zero, Notorious Grooms, a 5'10 junior guard. Number two, Calvin Winfrey, a 6'0 junior guard. Number four, Kadri McLee, a 6'6 senior forward. Getting the start today will be senior 21, number 21, Nick Torbish, a 6'0 senior guard. And number 34, Jameer Braxton, a 6'2 senior guard. For the Berlin Brothers Valley Mountaineers, their head coach is Tanner Prosser. His assistant coach is Jake Zorn and Eric Lauer. They come in 19-1 overall. Their starters for today will be number one, Joseph Richardson, a 6'2 junior forward. Number three, Craig Jarvis, a 6'2 senior guard. Number four, McKelvey Four, a 6'0 junior forward. Number five, Hayden Hutzel, a 6'0 junior guard. And number 22, Pace Prosser a six foot two senior guard. We're back in two minutes from Uniontown High School here on WMBS Live High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. Just as your local State Farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto. And guess what you'll get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown for the service you deserve at the price you want. So try to combine home and auto today. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call 724-592-6308 for your surprisingly great rates. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. The Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood is a veterans organization located in Fayette County since 1950. They are proud to advertise on WMBS sports programs and to contribute to the Veterans Hospital, local sports teams, and scouting organizations. Best of luck to all of our local teams from the Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood. Pizza, beer, atmosphere, it's all at Mom Maruca's Pizza, located on Barton Mill Road in Uniontown. Mom Maruca's is your prime spot to enjoy local high school sports. Family owned and operated, the Sampson family carries on the tradition of homemade pizza, salads, wings, and the best Italian hoagie and homemade bruschetta in town. Mom Maruca's is open Monday through Saturday from 4 to 10 for indoor and outdoor dining and takeout. Don't forget Mom's catering services for your next party or gathering. Call 72 Four four three eight ninety sixty six, or visit mamarucapizza.com for their menu and live music schedule. Are your dentures cracked, loose, broken, or missing a tooth? Hey, maybe it's just time for a new set of dentures. If that's the case, check out Uniontown Dental Associates, located at 7829 National Pike in Uniontown. They can make you new dentures faster than other offices, and in most cases, can offer same-day denture repairs. They also offer teeth whitening, clear braces, and single-visit crowns. Just call their office for your appointment today at 724 724- 438-0241 or visit their Facebook page for more information. Brian Morozak and Tony Anula back here at Uniontown High School. And Tony, you mentioned at the start of our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show, Pace Prosser approaching 2,000 career points and their assistant coach, I was talking to Jake Zorn, he said, you forgot to carry the one. Prosser actually 1980, not 1970. 1980. He needs, he needs 20 points for 2,000 in his career and Craig Jarvis actually approaching 1,500 career points. He's sitting at 1,480. So if Jarvis gets 20 or Prosser gets 20, they'll hit 1,500 or 2,000 respectively. Yeah, that's impressive, and especially when you have two guys on a team like that. I mean, you, that's a lot of points. And as we said, we were just talking a little bit ago, I expect to see a lot of threes from this team, from this Berlin Brothers Valley team. I mean, they take a ton of threes. I'm looking at it. They're averaging about 11 threes a game. So, like I said, a little bit different uh, offense from them, I'm sure. The uh, Red Raiders would not be surprised to see him come out in his own defense just to try to get out there and stop the threes. Yeah, Jarvis has hit 71 threes so far this season. In fact, he had a 61-point game against Juniata Valley earlier on this year. Prosser's hit 
65 threes, and he's averaging 24.6 points a game and over eight rebounds a game. Well, and what's more impressive is both of them are actually shooting over 40% from three, and especially in high school. That's a pretty good stat to have right there. If you can knock down that many threes, it really keeps your team in the game. We mentioned they've been in the state title game two of the last three years. Last year they won the District 5 championship, knocking off Southern Fulton, had state playoff wins over St. Joseph Academy Charter School, Philadelphia Academy Charter School, and Linville Hill before losing that game to Amani Christian. Amani actually knocked them out of the state playoffs in the first round back in 2022 after they downed Southern Fulton again in the District 5 title game. You go back a couple of years to 2021. Once again, you had Berlin Brothers Valley in a state title game after winning the District 5 championship over Chestnut Ridge. They had wins over Shade, Farrell, Bishop Canavan, and Clarion before losing to Nativity in the state title game. And you saw Berlin Brothers Valley against Geibel in the first round of the state playoffs back in 2020. They again won a District 5 championship over Shade. Knocked off Geibel in the first round. Knocked off Vincentian in the second round. They were still alive when the season was canceled due to COVID. Right, and they and probably would have had another shot to get to the state championship Correct. that year as well. Should be a good test for Uniontown this afternoon against Berlin Brothers Valley. We're back with the opening tip-off right after this here on WMBS, the Turbine High School Sports Network, and Facebook Live. Go to Ford to Union Town and trade me in. John Clinton with Dominic Carbone from seven-time president and award-winning Ford to Union Town. Dom, is it true we have over 90 pre-owned vehicles on the lot? John, we have more pre-owned vehicles now than we've ever had. Cars, trucks, SUVs, we got them. Both Ford and non-Ford, most are certified with factory warranty and competitive rates. So, John, what's new with new? Well, Dom, I'm glad you asked. Listen to this. All 2023 F-150s have 1.9% for up to 72 months. That's right, XLs, XLTs, Lariats, all models except for Raptor. And get this, Ford has a huge push on all 2023 SUVs with great rates on Escape, Edge, Bronco Sport, and don't forget the Explorer and Expedition. Stop, click, or call for complete details. Remember, we still offer online maintenance appointments and no charge pickup and delivery to your work and home. Your car knows, shouldn't you? That's Ford Uniontown on top of the hill across from Applebee's or FordUniontown.com. Must finance the Ford Motor Credit. Not all buyers will qualify. Are you looking to list or sell your house? Now is the time to let the professionals at Caldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty help you with all of your real estate needs. Caldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty has two convenient locations to better serve you. In Uniontown area, 724-437-7100 or in Connellsville area, 724-628. 7200 and speak with one of our real estate professionals. Visit our website, callwellbanker.com. We've been proudly serving Western Pennsylvania area for over 30 years and look forward to helping you with all of your real estate needs. Broker Paul Borch Jr. Uniontown Detailing offers an all inclusive auto care experience. Services include full auto detailing, professional ceramic coatings, window tinting, undercoating, paintless dent repair, and more. Uniontown Detailing has moved to a new location on 255 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. Stop by and check them out today. Best of luck this season to all local teams from Uniontown Detailing. Did you know that you have a choice for your physical therapy provider? NovaCare Rehabilitation offers same-day appointments, and oftentimes you don't need a prescription from your doctor to see us. We will make sure that you are treated as an individual and will work directly one-on-one -on -one with you to help achieve your goals. You have tried the rest. Now try the best. NovaCare, Delaware Avenue in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-0556 to schedule your appointment today. For attorney Melinda Delarose, helping people with compassionate counseling, candid legal advice, strong advocacy, and professional commitment is what she does best. With an office at 99 East Main Street in downtown Uniontown, attorney Delarose specializes in family law, municipal law, and general civil litigation, as well as personal injury, estate planning, probate, and more. For more information, call attorney Melinda Delarose at 724-437-3200. That's 724-437-3200 or online at DelaroseLaw.com. Brian Rozak and Tony Hanilla back here at Uniontown High School. Just about set to go. The Uniontown Red Raiders and the Berlin Brothers Valley Mountaineers. Our officials here this afternoon, Cody Thomas, Scott Lavander, and Pat Lyon. Berlin Brothers Valley and their away blues, white numbers. Their bench across the court to our right. Uniontown, the home whites, maroon numbers. Their bench across the court to our left. We talked about some of the scoring milestones that Jarvis and Pross are approaching for Berlin Brothers Valley. Of course, on the Uniontown side, you had both Notorious Grooms and Jameer Braxton go over 1,000 career points. 
points earlier on this season. Torrey now sitting at 11-16 for his career. Jameer 10-72 and Calvin Winfrey now at 8-12. If the Red Raiders have a deep playoff run, he could go over. 1,000 career points. Union Town's on the court. They're set to go. Tony, now Berlin Brothers Valley breaking the huddle off to our right. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this game, Brian. We were looking forward to it, what, on January 9th, I think it was, whenever it got snowed out. But uh, like I said, always a good team to watch. Berlin Brothers Valley always very well coached and very they're, they're, they just know what they're doing. That's all. It'll be a good game. Jarvis and McLee, and McLee winning it back. To Notorious Grooms off the opening tip-off. And here's Torrey on the near wing for Uniontown. Red Raiders working left to right as we describe it. McLee up top will switch back with Calvin Winfrey. Now Cadrian again near elbow. Back to Calvin on the near wing. He'll take a deep three. It's on the way and good. Calvin Winfrey has really been playing well, Tony, coming off of that ankle injury. Yeah, they, I think it was two, though, Brian, right? Yes, yep. long two gotcha. to give Uniontown a 2-0 yep. lead. As Jarvis had his shot blocked down low by McLee, but... The Mountaineers keeping it alive on the offensive glass. Jarvis operating outside the arc. McLee extending there for Uniontown as Jarvis takes the three. It rattles out. And Jameer Braxton, the rebound there for Uniontown. Yeah, Uniontown in a man-to-man -man defense as well as Berlin Brothers Valley. Up top, McLee switching back with Torrey Grooms. His three ball off the mark. And the ball go out of bounds and over to Berlin Brothers Valley. Yeah, Torrey was just kind of wasn't set right there whenever he went up for the shot. It was kind of fading a little bit. And missed it to the left. Now full court pressure being applied by Unitown. They're back in there 2-2-1. Two, two, Torrey right in the face of McKelvey 4. Touch there from Pace Prosser. Brought across. And now Berlin Brothers Valley breaking towards the basket. And Craig Jarvis putting it up and in to tie the game at 2 here at the 6.52 mark of the first. And a nice job on the break there to find a wide open Jarvis here for the layup. Winfrey again switching with Jameer Braxton for Uniontown. Touch from McLee on the near wing. Works off to his right. Back to Braxton again. Out to Torrey Grooms. And now Calvin a touch. Working off to his right. Into the lane. Calvin driving. Trying to scoop it up. Shot attempt came up short. McKelvey four. The rebound there for Berlin Brothers Valley. Off to Prosser. And across on the far side. There's Pace Prosser. Trying to pull up jumper from the foul line. Got blocked. Now contact on the back side. Braxton running over Craig Jarvis. And Jameer will pick up the foul. Yeah, Braxton. A good hustle trying to get after that loose ball but he's going to pick up his first foul, team first. So 6.23 left here in the opening quarter. This game tied at two. Yeah, now, now they're going to call it the other way. They now posted they, the foul on Braxton. Yeah, right. And Torrey Grooms lining up to trigger the basketball, and it should be Berlin Brothers Valley ball. Correct. And that it is. The referees having a little discussion, but they corrected themselves. Oh, it's pretty clear. I oh, mean, there's yeah. no way you're going to call that the other way. Jameer clearly... Ran him over. Oh, yeah. The inbounds pass. Prosser posting up. Needs a little help. Pull it back up top again to Hayden Hutzel. Hutzel off to his left. A little switch there with Jarvis again. Jarvis and Prosser will do the majority of the shooting on the Berlin Brothers Valley side here this afternoon. Four has it right now into Prosser. Reposition shot with the left hand. Good for Pace Prosser. Well, and you mentioned that, you know, you're looking at Jarvis and uh, Prosser with a lot of scoring, but Hutzel had 31 in their last game. So actually knocked down nine threes in their last win. So, you know, you got a couple guys that can shoot on this team. And they're up 4-2 over Uniontown here at the 545 mark of the first. Here's Braxton, long two near side. Good as Jameer Braxton rattling that one home to tie this game up at four and quickly back on the other side. The basket and one for Craig Jarvis. Yeah, I think they're going to call that on McClee. So Jarvis, who came in again averaging 22.4 points a game, approaching 1,500 in his career, now seeing it 1,484. We'll head to the free throw line. As Tony said, the foul going on Kadrian McLee, his first team second. Jarvis's free throw on the way and good to give him five. Jarvis came into the game 79% so far this season from the free throw line, and it's a 7-4 lead for Berlin Brothers Valley over Union Temp. Winfrey up top, little ball fake off to Grooms, far wing, looking to tie it up. Too strong there on the three, and Pace Prosser, another rebound for the Mountaineers. Prosser kicking in the far corner there to Hayden Hutzel. Spots up for the three, bounces around, it's no good. And Kadrian McLean, another rebound for Union Town. Touch from Braxton, off and across, there's Calvin Winfrey. Deep three, near side, good for Calvin Winfrey. He has five of the seven so far for Union Town, and we're tied at seven, three minutes in, Tony. A nice shot there by Winfrey. Just able to establish a little space for himself and throw up that three and knock it down. McKelvey Ford guarding him was Jameer Hager, who checked that, checked that. Jeremiah Hager checked into the game on the Union Town side, replacing Nick Torbich. 
And now McKelvey, four up top. To his right, to Jarvis, deep three. Too strong off the back iron. And Calvin Winfrey, rebound there for Uniontown. And Uniontown looking to run. But Berlin Brothers Valley getting a good job getting back on defense. Grooms over to Braxton. Braxton left of the lane. Kicks it over to Jeremiah Hager, who spots it for the three. It's too strong off the back iron. Good rebound there for McLee. Tapping it out to Tory Grooms. And now Calvin Winfrey a touch. Jeremiah again. And now Calvin repositions here high on the right. Calvin working off to his left. Touch from Jameer again. Deep two, near wing, no good. And the rebound pulled down by McKelvey Four for Berlin Brothers Valley. They're quickly up the floor, spinning back in traffic. Hayden Hutzel drawing the foul. And Coach Kay didn't like the call, Tony. No, I was going to say, let's see if this is on. It's going to be on McLee. Um, yeah, on McLee again. I wasn't sure if they were going to call it on McLee or Hager, but that's going to be his second, and that's a big foul. Because McLee, especially with the size underneath and able to block these shots, He's going to have to come out now with 4.02 to go in this first quarter. No, Coach Kuzmarski is going to ride with it. Third team foul. Actually, they posted that on Braxton. I know that's not right. They're going to go back to the scores table, I'm sure. Braxton wasn't even in the I area. Agree. It should yeah. have been on McLean. They actually put four, not 34, over there at the scores table. Yeah, that's. Uh, no, They're that's. Pull not. Braxton out of the game, but that's not right. No. The foul was not on Braxton. It was on McLee. It was on McLee, and I had it marked down for McLee as well. Braxton's like, I wasn't even in the area. And off the inbounds pass, is that a technical foul call? I think they got a technical. They're going to call it on the Uniontown bench, but there's, you know, Coach K's right. The yeah. foul was on McLee. The foul was not on Braxton. You are correct. He has every right to criticize that. Yeah. They messed up. Well, but the thing of it was, whenever they went over to the to the scores table. I thought they put four, they not did. 34. They did put four. I mean, you know, I saw Pat Lyon with four fingers up. So Prosser yeah. makes the first of two free throws. I think that was actually a mistake on the scores table. But regardless, you got Braxton on the bench with two fouls. And a second free throw good there from Prosser. He makes them both. He's 88% so far this season. And now they're checking again at the scores table. And again, that should have been... The second on McLee, not the second on Braxton. Correct. And they're going over things here with Calvin. Yeah. And you wouldn't have had the technical call there on Rob if they would have had the call right in the first place because he would have argued it. Right. That is correct. Yeah, because I was questioning whether it was going to be on McLee or Hager. Yeah. But as you said, Braxton wasn't even around the play. Right. And they'll lob it into the backcourt. There to Craig Jarvis. So Berlin Brothers Valley getting a free two here with the line from Prosser. Now Jarvis operating. Guarding him is Milsom. Pulled back to his left again to pace Prosser. Double team comes over. Prosser back to Jarvis again here on the near side. Those two play catch. Back to Prosser in their corner trying to come baseline near side. They're rolling out of bounds. And over to Uniontown. Cody Thomas on that call. And a good job there by Winfrey to play good defense against Prosser. Made him try to make that move. A little bit of lipping going on here between Prosser and Notorious Grooms. Winfrey back across here for Uniontown. Over to Milsom. Up top again to Kadrian McAlee. Kadrian pulling it back there to Calvin. Touch from Jeremiah Hager. Hager trying to pull Torrey over. And Notorious picks up the basketball there for the Red Raiders. Looking to drive there on four. Back again to Calvin on the near boundary. Kellen Milsom for three. It's no good off the back iron. Good rebound again from Hager. Kept alive to Grooms. Now Jeremiah again spotting up for three in the lead. No good. Milsom on the ah. tip Couldn't get it to go from point blank range. And Pace Prosser out of the pack with the basketball there for Berlin Brothers Valley. And Pace going coast to coast. Couldn't finish. Ball sat on the side of the rim and then fell out to him. Yeah, and on that backside, Milsom missed an easy one right there. Thought he was going to have the easy put back for two, but... Just fell off the rim. Milsom from the foul line. Jumper good to tie the game. Kellen Milsom. We're not it up at nine here at the 240 mark of the first. Yeah, we thought we were going to have a good game, Brian. We definitely do. Two good teams right now getting prepared for the playoffs. Prosser out of his own zone. Deep three up top. Good. Pace Prosser. He is seven of the 12 so far for Berlin Brothers Valley. And the Mountaineers lead it 12 to nine here at the 221 mark of the first. Yeah, nice Calvin shot. pulled it back there to Jeremiah. A little switch back from Kadrian. Jeremiah again kicked in the corner. Torrey Grooms high arcing three. No good. And another rebound pulled down by McKelvey. Four in Berlin Brothers Valley. 
Off the pace, Prosser and across. Over to Jarvis looking for another three. That one rattles out. Tory Grooms another rebound there for Union Town. Yeah, Jarvis just he took three threes already. Just can't get it to knock down. Around the rim each time. He was close, but just couldn't get it to fall. Calvin over to Milsom. Back to Calvin. Another deep three from the near side off the mark. And four, another rebound there for Berlin Brothers Valley. Touch from Prosser. Home run ball down to Jarvis leaning and drawing the foul. So Craig Jarvis back to the foul line for Berlin Brothers Valley. Mountaineers lead the Red Raiders 12-9 here at the 143 mark of the first. Yeah, Kellen Milsom going to get called with that. Oh, no, they're going to call it on Winfrey? Interesting. They do post it on Yeah, Winfrey. they did. No, they called it on Calvin on the reach. I actually thought it was going to be on Milsom. They were both in the area. First of two free throws, good. I thought Jarvis kind of short-armed it, but still got it to go. So he has six in the lead up to four. Now we'll see a substitution on the Berlin side. Levi Leonard checking in for Joseph Richardson. Also Hayden Hutzel checking out, and they'll bring Matthew Miller into the game. Second of two free throws on the way, and again getting a friendly bounce. Craig Jarvis connecting. So he's three for three from the foul line, has scored seven. And the Mountaineers have a 14-9 lead over Uniontown here at the 136 mark of the first. Torrey Grooms up top, and he kind of short arm on that three as well, trying to pull back on it, but deflected over to Kadrian McLee. Now a push call here on the floor against the Mountaineers. And I think that's going to be on Jarvis. Let's see what Scotty Lavander does, and it is going to be on Craig Jarvis. So he's going to pick up his first. It's only the first foul against the Mountaineers. Correct. So Uniontown keeping possession. Here's Grooms off the screen for McLee. Good ball movement on the far block to Jeremiah Hager, who lays it up and in. So Hager pulls Uniontown back to within three at 14 to 11. Berlin back on the other side. McKelvey Ford, baseline far side. Little pull back there over to Prosser. Shot attempt got blocked going up. Deflected out of bounds off of Uniontown. We'll stay with Berlin Brothers Valley here in the Red Raiders zone. Yeah, nice defense. Good block there by Kadrian McLee. Able to avoid the foul and block the shot. Another substitution on the Berlin side as Matthew Miller checking out and into the game. Carson Jarvis, only a freshman, the younger brother of Craig. And here's Prosser, a little floater out in front, off the front of the rim, no good. McLee the rebound for Uniontown. Off and across there to Ellsworth. Coming baseline to Hager. Pulled back, Tory Grooms, three on the way. Off the back iron again, no good. Rebound on the near side, pulled down by Berlin's McKelvey Ford. Touch from Prosser, across to Jarvis. Looking for another three off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound deflected around, and here's Tory Grooms again for Uniontown. Pulls it out to Hager, comes far wing and in, and he's called for the charge. Red Raider fans don't like it. No, they do not. Hager just a little bit out of control, though, and that call could have gone either way. But they're going to call it on Hager, so he's going to pick up his first. That's a team fifth in this first quarter. And player control, though. Yeah. So they won't shoot. Correct. You have local officials on the game, but Berlin's gotten the better of the calls here, Tony. Yeah. Well, I, like I said, I just think it was a scores table mistake with Braxton. Now somebody messed up. We'll yeah. check it out at halftime. And Oh, there's a push. That's going to be a foul on McLee. Well, and now he's going to have his second foul. Correct. So now you got two players for Uniontown with two fouls. <laughs> and they do post at his second. Yeah, so Townsend's going to check in now for Cager McLee. You know, Hutzel <laughs> shooting a pair of free throws. He's only 45% so far this season from the free throw line. And now Eric Townsend into the game on the Uniontown side trying to check in too early. <laughs> I'm watching. I'm watching Coach Chismarski over there just kind of. He can't stand that. I know, he's got to behave, yeah. <laughs> Hutzel, first free throw on the way and good. And has to watch his P's and Q's. He gets another technical. He missed the first WPIL playoff game. Yeah, not a good idea. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure he'll behave. So now Miller in on the Berlin side and Townsend in for Uniontown. Hutzel, second of two free throws on the way and good again. So Berlin Brothers Valley. Leading Uniontown here with 30 seconds left in the opening quarter, 15 to 11. Notorious Grooms working between the circles. Check that, 16 to 11. We'll send it out in front. Jeremiah Hager repositions and scoops it up and in. So Jeremiah Hager with four Red Raiders back to within three, down 16 to 13, with 12 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Here's Prosser high on the left. Prosser leaning to his left, taking the three. It's off the back iron, no good. Ellsworth on the back side. The rebound needs to hurry down at two down to one. Off to Grooms, three at the buzzer. No good. So after one quarter of basketball, it's Berlin Brothers Valley 16, Uniontown 13. We're back in the second and 60. Here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. 
Hi, I'm Russ Playho. As your local Allstate agent, providing protection that fits your life is something I take, well, personally. I'm committed to learning about your needs and personalizing protection to meet them. From bundling your auto, home, and life insurance with ease to evaluating optional coverage based on your protection needs. I can build an insurance proposal that fits your life. Are you in good hands? Contact me, Russ Blaho, for a free quote. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability, savings vary. Good times and good food. It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family-owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potter's on Facebook. We'll see you at Potter's. Prime Rosak and Tony Hanola back here at Union Town High School. A 16-13 lead for Berlin Brothers Valley over Union Town. You have Pace Prosser and Craig Jarvis seven apiece on the Berlin Brothers Valley side. Calvin Winfrey leading Union Town with five here after one quarter of play zone. Well, we thought we'd see a lot of made threes, but only two so far, one by each team in that first quarter. A lot of three attempts, but just couldn't get them to go down. The Berlin Brothers Valley working right to left with the basketball as the second quarter gets underway. McKelvey Ford trying to pull it back and a travel call there on the Mountaineers. Yeah, Prosser got called for the shuffle there as he took the hand off. Actually thought you were going to get another foul against Unitown. Somebody trying to fight through the screen over there, but it's going to be Unitown ball. They've had a lot of contact out on the court here early on. Physical game. Again, you have Kadri McLee and Jameer Braxton. Two fouls apiece. Also a technical foul called on Rob Kesmarski in the Union Town bench. And here's Braxton working baseline far side. Foul's going to be called here on the floor against Berlin Brothers Valley. Well, and that's only the second team foul for the first half, but that's going to be the second foul on Jarvis. And that could be a big foul. Correct. One of their leading scorers again coming in, averaging over 22 points a game. Jeremiah Hager up top for Uniontown over to Braxton. He'll send it around the horn in the corner of Tory back on the wing again to Jameer. He directs traffic, brings Grooms over to his left, trying to set a screen. And now Braxton coming baseline near side, fights off the double team. Quick at the shot to go, rebound deflecting around, and then controlled there by McKelvey Four of Berlin Brothers Valley. Touch from Prosser. Sent ahead to Hutzel, who drives near baseline, couldn't get it to go. Hutzel got his own rebound on the floor, and he's called for the travel. And yeah, not so sure about that one, but. Never really moved. He just kind no. of got it on his back. <laughs> yeah. Try to dish it out. I don't know where the travel was. I don't know. Nonetheless, Red Raiders get it back. Down three. Hager up top. McLee back to Hager. Set around to Braxton. And now Tory Grooms back in the corner again to Jameer. Looking for three in the tie. It's off the side of the rim. No good. Jarvis pulls down the rebound. Sent it ahead to Prosser. And a foul called here at midcourt. That foul is going to be on Braxton. And that's big. That's going to be his third so he's going to have to sit the rest of this half. 6.51 to go here in the second quarter, and that's a big foul right there. Scored only two points so far. Came in averaging 19 a game, so you're going to lose a lot of offense for the Red Raiders with him on the bench. Calvi Four setting it into Pace Pross, in front of there by Calvin Winfrey. Here's Pace looking for operating room. Nothing on his right. Comes back to his left, trying to kick in the corner, deflected out of bounds by Tory Grooms. We'll stay with... Berlin Brothers Valley here in the Indian Town zone. Yeah, good hands there by Grooms. Tried to get the ball down in the corner, but Grooms able to knock it out of bounds. Four, sending it in there to Prosser. Back to four again, front of there by Hager. Touch up top from Hutzel, trying to pivot off of Milsom. Hutzel staying with a little ball fake and went up and had a shot altered. Deflected in the hands of Notorious Grooms and brings it back across here for Indian Town. Pulled out to Hager in the corner, Milsom. Misses there on the three, and Jarvis, another rebound underneath for the Mountaineers. Jarvis back through center. Sends it far side. Hutzel spots up for the three. It's too strong. A lot of missed shots out there. Tell no both no sides. kidding. <laughs> so I say we knew we'd see a lot of threes, but I thought we'd see a lot more makes. Here's Grooms coming back, and that might be the third foul on Jarvis. And it is going to be the third foul on Jarvis. And good job there by Grooms to take it to the basket. He realized he had Jarvis on him. Tried to pick up that third foul, and that's exactly what he did. So Jarvis with seven points will have to check out here on the Mountaineers' side. And it's Torius Grooms for Uniontown to shoot two. First of two on the way in good. That's the first point of the game for Torrey Grooms. Yeah, Grooms has had some wide-open looks on the three, but just can't knock him down here today. Now has 1,117 career points. Uniontown back to within two, down 16 to 14. Second of two from Torrey Grooms. Good again. This is the first two points for Uniontown here in the second quarter. First two points by either, either side, team. Right? Yeah. 
16-15, Berlin Brothers Valley, the lead at one. Carson Jarvis now into the game on the Mountaineers' side. Hutzel with the basketball right now, goes between defenders, went up, had it deflected out of bounds, ruled off of Uniontown going out. We'll stay with the Mountaineers here in the Red Raiders zone. Yeah, Kadri McLee with another block, and we're going to have a timeout. Taken by Berlin Brothers Valley. Full timeout, 16-15 Mountaineers. We're back at 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. The, the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, sprains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. Accidents can happen at any time. At Stewart Collision Service in Uniontown, we are here to repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition. Have dents? Stewart Collision Service does paintless dent repair. So give us a call at 724-437-9381 or stop by 73 East Fayette Street for all your collision needs. We work with all insurances. Stewart Collision supports our local high school sports team and wish you the best this season. At Stewart Collision Service, 73 East Fayette Street in Uniontown, 724-437-9381. Good game so far, 16-15, Berlin Brothers Valley leading Uniontown. Good to see our colleague John Scully in the house tonight yeah, as well, Tony. Yeah, I know. He's probably chomping at the bit. He's ready to come over here. Hey, by the way, while we have a quick break, I want to say hi to – I was asked to say hi to Alex in Virginia Beach, who's a avid watcher of us. So, uh, like I said, thanks very much, Alex. And you're seeing a pretty good game here so far. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Prosser driving a miss. Hutzel keeping it alive there for Berlin Brothers Valley. Out again to Prosser. Holding far baseline. Now back outside the arc on the wing. Front of there by Hager. Prosser taking a little fade away to its off to Mark McLee. Rebound that time for Union 10. Red Raiders an opportunity to take the lead on this possession. Tory Grooms now backing out here high on the left. Hager setting the screen. Grooms stays with it. Switches back there with Calvin. Now backs out edge of the zone. Watched by McKelvey Ford. Now Calvin driving back. Tough shot. Couldn't get it to go. Hager comes crashing in and scores on the putback. So Jeremiah Hager six off the Uniontown bench. Red Raiders now on the lead at 17 to 16. Pace Prosser trying to throw that one. That over his shoulder and he's called for the travel. Whoa. Thought that foul was going to be on Calvin Winfrey. Looked like he kind of grabbed, but... They're going to call a travel. I've seen some interesting calls, Tony. We're talking off the air as well so far this afternoon. Oh, now, good game. I mean, fast-paced game, yes. though, too. That's the thing about it, you know. Hager touching it off there to Kadrian McAlee. Kadrian, a little ball fake back to Calvin. Out again to Kellen Milsom. Has a seam between defenders. Milsom couldn't finish. Ball loose here on the near side. And in traffic, Berlin Brothers Valley keeping it alive there. McKelvey four off and across now to Pace Prosser. Prosser up top, taking the three with Winfrey in his face and rattling it home. That was a tough shot, Tone, and Prosser got it to go. Second made three for Pace Prosser. He has 10. Now he's 10 points shy of 2,000 for his career. Grooms looking to answer back on the other side for Uniontown. Missed on the three. Kept alive on the offensive glass there from Milsom. Kicks it back out to Winfrey. Comes near baseline in traffic. Prosser a little swat. And they're just going to rule it out of bounds here off of Berlin Brothers Valley. Union Town will keep possession. They're down two at 19-17 here at the 414 mark of the second quarter. Yeah, actually, I thought it was a pretty good defensive play as well. Even though Winfrey hit the ground, I didn't think there was a foul there anyway. Just good defense by the Mountaineers. Red Raiders send it around the arc. Back to Torrey Grooms up top again to Winfrey. Far side, Kellen Milsom. Uniontown down two, Milsom driving, repositions, turns out in front, couldn't get it to go. McLee had the rebound, and then Prosser ripping it away there for Berlin Brothers Valley. Prosser spinning all over the place on the far wing, goes cross-court near side, brought down there by Matthew Miller. Pulled back over there to Hayden Hutzel. Up top again to McKelvey Ford, and you have Craig Jarvis on the bench for the Mountaineers now with three personal fouls. As Hutzel has, it tries to come inside. Prosser double-team fights it off, scoops it up and in. Another tough shot converted for Pace Prosser, Tony. He's just been able to make free himself up with a little bit of space and knock down a couple shots, Brian. I mean, it's been good defense by Uniontown, but Prosser just a little bit better on the offensive end. He has 12 and a lead at four now for the Mountaineers at 21 to 17. 318 left here in the second quarter. Winfrey up top for Uniontown. Sends it far side to Hager, a little ball fake. Back to Calvin. 
Watch there by Matthew Miller. Now resets here, edge of the zone. Calvin says it's go time again. A little turn and a shot there from the near elbow. No good. Out of bounds and back over to Berlin Brothers Valley. Calvin looking for a foul there, but it's one of those things. Not sure that he got all ball or a little bit of arm, but either way, it's going to be the Mountaineers ball. Isaac Ellsworth back into the game on the Indian Sound side, replacing Kellen Milsom. Ellsworth had a game-high 15 last night against Laurel Highlands and knocked down five threes. Very impressive off the Red Raider bench. Indian Town can use some of those threes right now. Joseph Richardson bouncing it over to Hutzel, back to Prosser, another fadeaway three in and out. Hutzel keeping it alive on the offensive glass. Pulled it off to Jarvis, who's back in there, Tony, with three personal fouls. So Coach Tanner Prosser rolling the dice a little bit. No kidding there. Especially with this team leading by four with 2.32 yeah. left before halftime. Still a lot of time. I mean, you hate to see him pick up his fourth foul. Only two minutes to go here in this second quarter. Hutzel fighting back. They're going to rule that deflected out off of Uniontown. So once again, the Mountaineers keeping possession. I think another block there by Kadrian. Now you're going to have Milsom check back in for Hager. Kadrian averaging close to five blocks a game on the Uniontown side. Craig Jarvis descended in. Touch there from Prosser. Back up top for the switch back. That could have been an offensive foul there on Prosser. Kind of pushed off. His three ball no good. And Ellsworth the rebound there for Uniontown. Yeah, he might have got away with an offensive foul oh, there, no doubt. I think he did get away with yeah. it. No <laughs> doubt about that one. Isaac Ellsworth back there to Calvin Winfrey. And we'll see if they take it at Jarvis right now with three personal fouls. It'll be Ellsworth, though, spotting up for the three. Off the back iron, no good. And a nice little poke to himself there from Kellen Milsom. Good Straddles job. Straddles the near boundary. Yeah, good job by Milsom to get that offensive rebound. Calvin going to slow this game down a little bit. Now a 145 left before halftime. Ellsworth again thinking about a three. Kind of spin off of McKelvey four. Pulls it back to Calvin Winfrey here high on the right. Winfrey now edge of the zone. Watch there from Prosser. Winfrey will take the three. It's on the way. Again, no good rattling out. And Prosser another rebound there for Berlin Brothers Valley. Credit the Mountaineers. They've had good defense as well this afternoon. Holding Uniontown only 17 points with only 117 left before halftime. I, I was just thinking the same thing, Brian. I'm thinking we were going to see a big high scoring game and these teams, neither one of them more than 25 points here in this first half. Kind of surprising. Yeah, the pace of this game certainly benefiting Berlin Brothers Valley, but the Mountaineers turn it over here. You had Hutzel had a little slip trying to come down the lane and Joseph Richardson trying to save it here on the near boundary. Unable to do that. So Union Town will get the basketball back down four at 21-17 with 102 left before halftime. Yeah, and this is not the same Uniontown team that we've seen the last couple games being able to shoot and fill it up, scoring over 80 points in those games. But right now, really can't make a whole lot of baskets, not hitting anything from three. Now you love the Nuggets, Tony. Uniontown's lost their last two when they played the back end of back-to-back -back games. They've lost the last two back end games, the second game when they've had back-to-back -back games. Good news for them. They won't have any back-to-back -back games you wouldn't think in the postseason. <laughs> Probably no back-to-back -back games anymore for the rest of this year. Foul called there on the floor. It'll be the third team foul on Berlin Brothers Valley and the first personal on McKelvey four. So you'll have Tory Grooms triggered in to Kadrian McAlee. Kadrian fronted there by Levi Leonard trying to keep it alive. And a 38 seconds left before halftime. Winfrey coming near baseline. Floater good for Calvin Winfrey. So Calvin with seven of Uniontown's 19. Red Raiders only down two now at 21 to 19 with 26 seconds left here in the first half. Once again, Prosser between defenders. Couldn't get it to go, but the putback is good in traffic. And that was Matthew Miller, his first two off the Mountaineers bench. Yeah, right place, right time. Good job by Miller. 23-19, Berlin Brothers Valley over Uniontown. Nine seconds left here in the second quarter, and a foul called on the floor here against the Mountaineers. Now they're going to call that on Miller there. So Miller's going to pick up his first. Still only the team fourth in this first quarter. I'm sorry, second quarter. So no shooting yet, 9.2 seconds to go. Torrey Grooms quickly into Kadrian, trying to kick it back there to Calvin Winfrey. Calvin from the foul line out to Milsom, spots up for the 3-2 strong. Kadrian keeping it alive out in front, and will float it up and in. Kadrian McLee, his first two points of the afternoon, come here right before halftime to pull Uniontown back to within two at 23-21. Stay tuned for our halftime show being brought to you by the Radcliffe Martin Law Firm. Comes your way next year on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network, and Facebook Live.
The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even watch it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m. Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. At Uniontown Printing Press, they are more than t-shirts. They are about you and everything you love. And they are local. Operated by Mookie John and Kenny Musco, they share the passion with your group, club, or team. The excitement you have for your event or cause. And that makes your business stand out from the rest. Uniontown Printing Press believes that custom t-shirts do more than just make you look good. They help you feel good and inspire you to do good. Call Uniontown Printing Press at 724-366-7095. That's 724-366-7095. Are you down with UPP? Attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt at Watson Mundorf LLP wish all of our local teams the best of luck this year. Watson Mundorf is a premier regional law firm whose experience and expertise empower it to not only be an advocate for its clients, but also provide them with exceptional service to exceed expectations. With offices in Uniontown and Connorsville, they are local and here to serve you. Call 724-626-8882 for attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt. Falling in love with a house? Head over heels for a home plan? Take the plunge. Apply for a mortgage loan with First Federal Savings and Loan of Greene County. Feeling commitment shy? Complete a mortgage prequalification. It's simple. 100% online and you'll get a personalized answer within one business day. Then save the date for a move-in day or groundbreaking and put a key ring on it. Apply online at ffgc.bank, First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County, member FDIC, equal housing lender, NMLS number 458729. Are you considering a project design and don't know where to start? K2 Engineering offers a wide range of professional civil, architectural, and municipal services to meet your individual project needs. Our versatility combined with our personalized approach is what sets us apart as a full-service engineering and consultation firm. To learn more about our services, please visit us on the web at www.k2engineering.net. K2 Engineering, where customer service is our priority. Bad hair day, bad day at the office, bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprouls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m. Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Back here at Uniontown High School, good one at halftime. Berlin Brothers Valley 23, Uniontown 21. Certainly a low-scoring affair. And Tony, your halftime stats. They're being brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. Yeah, an extremely low-scoring affair, Brian. I'm looking at this, and you had Berlin Brothers Valley scoring seven points in that second quarter, and Uniontown only eight. I was going to say, when was the last time we saw Uniontown only score eight points in a quarter? But let's go with these stats on the, in the first half for the Uniontown Red Raiders. They were led in scoring by Calvin Winfrey, who had seven in that first half. He was followed by Jeremiah Hager, who had six. Two points from Notorious Grooms, two from Kadri McLee, two from Kellen Milsom, and two from Jameer Braxton. Braxton in foul trouble with those three fouls in that first half, only had two points. Thirteen in the first, eight in the second for their total of 21. Two for two from the foul line, and only one made three in this game so far for Unitown. That by Calvin Winfrey in the first quarter. On the other side, 
for the Berlin Brothers Valley Mountaineers. They were led by Pace Prosser, who has 12 points and is now eight away from 2,000. He was followed by Craig Jarvis, who had seven. All of those came in the first quarter. Two points from Hayden Hutzel and two points from Matthew Miller. 16 in the first, seven in the second. Their total of 23. Seven for seven from the foul line, and they had two made threes, both of those by Pace Prosser. And 23-21, Berlin Brothers Valley over Uniontown. Again, the WPIAL playoff pairings would come out 2 o'clock on Monday. We'll pass those along to you here on all of our WMBS outlets. Again, we'll have audio, at least, for all of the WPIL playoff games involving our local teams. No guarantee on video with the NFHS with the new WPIL deal having first right of refusal, and we're preliminarily told that likely be blocked out here at Uniontown due to the fact they have an NFHS camera on site. But again, we'll pass along all of those details next week. 23-21, Berlin Brothers Valley. Second half comes your way next in four minutes here on WMBS. <laughs> February is auto show time at Thurby's Riverside Ford. That means special financing and auto show bonus cash on new Ford SUVs and trucks. Have you been thinking about a new 23 Ford F-150 four-wheel drive XLT? Take advantage of 1.9 financing for 72 months during auto show month. Now that's an auto show deal. Listen up. All new 23 Ford Escapes come with 0% Ford credit financing for 48 months plus $2,000 trade assist Ford bonus cash. And the show Stopper, the 23 Ford Bronco Sport Big Bend and Outer Banks have 0% for 60 months plus $2,000 trade assist rebate during Auto Show Month. We have inventory in stock and on the way. Thurby's Riverside Ford, your presidential award-winning dealer, located one mile past Lady Luck Casino on Route 40. See Joey, Sammy, Jimmy, or Ashley. Offer ends March 31st, 2024. Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer litigated over 275 civil and criminal trials, some of which have been aired on Oprah, Inside Edition, and ESPN. Having an engineering degree, master's in business administration, and law degree qualifies him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. His firm concentrates in wills, trusts, estates, property transfers, personal injury, solar field and Marcellus gas negotiations, and family law. Small enough to care and smart enough to win. Phone 724-425-1162 or email Tommy Schaefer at Hotmail.com. NovaCare Rehabilitation is now in Masontown. Using a personalized plan of care and one-on-one -on -one sessions, NovaCare gives you an advantage in rehabilitation. Dr. Haley Cruiser and our professional staff are certified to use industry-leading treatments, including LVST Big Therapy for Parkinson's disease, which increases mobility, improves balance, and decreases time necessary to complete tasks. These services supplement NovaCare's exceptional orthopedic, concussion, and vestibular dysfunction resources. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call our new Mason Town office on Route 21 McClellan Town Road at 724-491-5220. Casey Sports Cafe, located at 243 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown and owned by the Vernon family, wants you to know they have new evening hours. And those new hours are 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on the weekends. Come to Casey Sports Cafe and check out their new menu ideas and entrees. Casey's can also cater your next event. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, Casey's is the place to eat. Call 724-550-4126. Emidar Transit, locally owned and operated by the Scott family, have been helping students travel safely to school in the Fayette County area for more than four years. Emidar Transit is a proud sponsor of the Laurel Highlands basketball team and wishes all the area teams good luck. For more information about MR Transit, call 724-439-3164. 724-439-3164. Or stop by their Uniontown office at 253 South Mount Vernon Avenue. Prime Rozak and Tony Hanula back here at Uniontown High School, 23-21. Berlin Brothers Valley leading Uniontown as we are ready to start. The third quarter, and Tony, certainly a low-scoring affair so far. The Red Raiders held to just 21 points in that first half. Berlin Brothers Valley only scoring 23. This is not what we expected, no. Brian. There's no doubt about it. I mean, I thought we'd be at least 40 to 40 at halftime. I thought we'd see a lot of scoring, but really neither one of these teams can make any shots from deep. We saw Groom struggle, and as we said, only one made three on the Uniontown side, and that was Calvin Winfrey. Only two on the Mountaineer side for Berlin Brothers Valley, but still a good game and a close game and two evenly matched teams and uh, pretty much what we expected. We thought we'd see a good one here today, and we are. And you have two teams, star players, and some foul trouble as well. Craig Jarvis, three personals on the Berlin Brothers Valley side, and Jameer Braxton, three personals on the Uniontown side. Yeah, and you can definitely see the difference in the offense with Braxton on the, on the bench for most of that first half. 
only scored two points and, as we said, came in averaging 19. Red Raiders working right to left as we describe it here to start the third quarter. They have the basketball. Calvin Winfrey over to Jameer Braxton out there with those three personals. Up top to Kadrian McAleen. Switching back with Calvin. Now Jameer on the far side. Those two play catch. Back to Hager now near side. Over to Tory Grooms and back to Jameer Braxton. Red Raiders kind of feeling out Berlin Brothers Valley on this opening possession of the third quarter. It's Grooms in the corner. And Torrey trying to spin it back up to Calvin Winfrey. Red Raiders taking some time off the clock. And again, the pace of this game has certainly favored the Mountaineers so far. For sure. Here's Grooms over to Braxton again. Braxton working right of the lane, leaning in. Could get the shot to go. McLean, nice little tip back over to Braxton, who's able to lay it up and in. So Jameer tying this game at 23. Now home run ball for Berlin Brothers Valley that was intended for Joseph Richardson from Pace Prosser goes out of bounds. And the basketball back over to Uniontown. Surprised to see that aggressive pass from Richardson. Or check that from Prosser. Yeah, from Prosser. Actually, I don't. I really didn't see Richardson being open underneath there, but he tried to make that pass and thread the needle, but just threw it a little bit out of Richardson's reach. Now Uniontown looking for the lead. Here's Hager pivoting back. A little turn and shoot came up short. And Craig Jarvis out of the pack with a loose ball rebound there for Berlin Brothers Valley. Jarvis bringing it across. Jarvis leaning, got swatted by Jeremiah Hager. Ball deflected out of bounds. We'll stay with Berlin Brothers Valley here in the Uniontown zone. Tell you what, Hager's been playing some great basketball for Uniontown over the last couple games. He's had a couple good games, playing good defense, and really has stepped up his game late in the season here. Yeah, the Red Raiders' depth has certainly grown as the season has progressed as Jarvis looks for the three. No good. Offensive rebound brought down by McKelvey Ford, and the ball tied up as you have the Red Raiders' Tory Groom stepping over. Get a jump ball called possession arrow. Favors Berlin Brothers Valley. Yeah, but good defense there by Grooms just to tie it up. And you're right, possession arrow goes to the Mountaineers. McKelvey four into the backcourt here to Jarvis, who will reset. Craig Jarvis fronted there by Notorious Grooms. Bouncing it off there to Hayden Hutzel. And now Jarvis again, three from up top, spinning out. Kadrian McLee, the rebound there for Uniontown. Touch from Winfrey, sent across in the corner. Braxton, high arcing three, came up short. Backside rebound pulled down again by Hayden Hutzel for the Mountaineers. Off to Jarvis and across, which is back with Pace Prosser. Prosser, did he push you off? Yes, he did. Got away with one back in the first half. Didn't get away with that one. No, and again, good defense there by Calvin Winfrey right in the face of Prosser and drawing that foul. His first and the first foul of the second half against Berlin Brothers Valley. And we've got to give a shout-out to our friend Jimmy Over, who's listening. Thanks for listening, Jimmy. We appreciate it, buddy. Also, hello to the mayor of Uniontown. Bill Gerke tuned in today as well. Braxton pulling in the corner. Jeremiah Hager trying to spin off the baseline. Near side resets on the wing. Tory Grooms for three, rattling out. Prosser, another rebound for Berlin Brothers Valley. Looking for another home run ball. That should be a travel. It is. There on McKelvey, four. is just a bit out of control there on the Mountaineers' side. Yeah, and a good job there by Winfrey and Grooms defensively. Grooms just cut in front of four and forced the turnover, so now Uniontown on the offensive side. Let's see what Braxton can do. Looking for the lead as Braxton pulls it off to Kadrian McLeo, who finishes out in front. Just the second field goal for Kadrian. He has four Red Raiders up two at 25-23, to 23. and here's Prosser coming back, and he gets fouled. This should be in the act. And I think this is going to be the fourth foul on Braxton. They're going to call it a shooting foul, but let's see who they call this on. And okay, they're calling it on... Hager. Called it on Hager. His second. Okay. I was kind of worried there for a minute. Thought it was going to be on Braxton. Prosser has been almost automatic so far this season from the free throw line, but misses there. Came in 88%, 68 of 77. Prosser now eight points shy of 2,000 for his career. Second of two free throws good for Pace Prosser. 13 in this game for Prosser. Mountaineers back to within one of Uniontown at 25 to 24. 534 left here in the third. McLee up top. Will switch back with Braxton. Sent far side to Jeremiah Hager. Hager fighting inside. Will pump fake. Shot up no good. Got his own rebound back. Puts it up and in and drew the foul in the process. Jeremiah Hager. And again, Hager, as we said, has stepped up his game. Great job there to follow it up as well with the putback and drew the foul. And that's going to be on Jarvis. And that's going to be his fourth. And that's big. Yeah, big foul there as Jarvis will head to the bench for Berlin Brothers Valley. Uniontown now leading by three, can extend it here to four with a made free throw from Jeremiah Hager. It's up on the way and good. So nine for Hager, 
And Uniontown a four-point lead at 28 to 24 with 5.20 left here in the third. Here's Prosser with Richardson setting the screen. We'll take a three up top and hit it. Pace Prosser, he's tough. Third made three of the game. He has 16 points. Now four shy of 2,000 for his career. The Mountaineers back to within one at 28 to 27. He's got a nice game, Brian. We talked about that at halftime. I Groom, like his game. Groom's looking to answer back. His three ball came up short, bounced off the glass. Friendly bounce over to Hager. Missed on the putback. Third attempt. Red Raiders get it to go on the backside and draw another and one in the process. Yeah, and right now Uniontown just controlling the offensive board in this second half, and that foul's going to be on Richardson. Basket made by Jameer Braxton. First personal on Joseph Richardson for Berlin Brothers Valley. So the lead back up to three for Uniontown at 30-27, to 27, 452. Left here in the third, Braxton's free throw good as he swishes it in. So yeah. seven for Jameer Braxton, five of those seven here in the third quarter. Uniontown lead at four. Prosser again, that's going to be another push off. Yeah. Coach Prosser doesn't agree with it, but he's do he pushes off. He puts up that right arm and pushes off with it. That's a good call. That's what Scott Lavander is telling his dad, Tanner. Yeah. In his 20th season now coaching the Mountaineers, actually played his high school ball at Brentwood in the WPIL. And his wife actually coaches the Berlin Brothers Valley's girls team. Yeah, and she's actually got a state title. Doing some good things up in the mountains in Somerset County. Braxton from the far elbow, jumper no good. Prosser another rebound for the Mountaineers. Off and across on the far side. Hutzel driving back. He was blocked but fouled by Jeremiah Hager. Uniontown fans don't like the call, but there was contact. And Tony. Hager came up limping a little bit as well, and you got to worry. He missed a couple games because of an ankle injury. Still has the brace on the left ankle. They're going to call the foul here on Hager. That'll be his third. That'll be his third. You're right Hager there. with three. Braxton with three on the Union Sound side. Jarvis with four for Berlin Brothers Valley. First of two free throws good for Hayden Hutzel. Hutzel came in just 45% so far this season from the free throw line, 17 of 38. But he's made all three of his free throw attempts here so far this afternoon. Yeah, came in averaging about nine points a game. And as we said, had 31 in their last win on Tuesday night. Second of two free throws good again for Hutzel. Timeout, Mountaineers, 425. Left here in the third, 31-29. Uniontown in the lead. We're back at 60 on the Sea Harbor Auto Group High School Sports Night. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with white glove service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. For funeral services from pre-need to at-need, burial or cremation, call Gates Funeral Home and Crematory, located at 136 North Gallatin Avenue in a beautifully restored historic home. Family-owned and operated by Rick Gates, former Brown Brownsville resident and Guyville alumni, the Gates Funeral Home and Crematory offers warmth, convenience, affordability, and ample parking. With a knowledgeable funeral director and compassionate staff, the Gates family and the Gates Funeral Home and Crematory are ready to assist you. You need to after the timeout. Miss three from Notorious Grooms and another Berlin Brothers Valley rebound. As Pace Prosser will bring it across. Berlin Brothers Valley down to Prosser. Drives and draws the foul. That might be the third on Kadrian McAlee. Yeah, it's definitely going to be the third on McLee. So now you got him and Braxton and Hager with all three fouls. Non-shooting, though. So the Mountaineers will trigger it in here with McKelvey four. Down two with 31 to 29. Four now needs to hurry. Sends it up top to Prosser. Front of there by Calvin Winfrey. Back in the corner again to four. Up top now to Hutzel. Hutzel between defenders got no jump ball call. A lot of contact. They just call it jump ball. The Red Raiders get it here off the possession arrow. Yeah, and another block by Kadrian McLee, as you said, came in averaging five blocks a game and probably has that now. So they're going to take McLee out with 3.53 to go in the third. You need sound up by two, getting the basketball back at 31 to 29 with 3.52 left here in the third quarter. Yeah, Eric Townsend checking in for. McLee. Grooms racing back, but it high off the glass. Shot attempt, no good. Prosser out of the pack with it. Pace Prosser drives back and got it to go. 
So Pace Prosser now, Tony, just two points shy of 2,000 for his career. This game tied at 31. Here's Milsom for Uniontown. Milsom fighting, floater out in front, good for Kellen Milsom. Just his second field goal of the game, he has four. Uniontown back on top by two at 33 to 31. Pace Prosser again looking for 2,000 points, three on the way, he oh. spins out. Almost had it. And the Mountaineer fans knew that was going to put him over the 2,000 point mark as well. Exactly. Braxton back on the other side for Uniontown. Braxton right of the lane. Kicks it near corner to Milsom. Comes near baseline. It's going to be a travel. Yeah, Milsom was kind of in between there. Didn't know whether to take the three or drive baseline and just shuffled his feet before he made the move. So that's going to be a turnover by the Red Raiders. And now Winfrey going to apply some full court pressure as well as Braxton. McKelvey, four, will trigger it in. Haven't seen the Red Raiders in the pressure defense too much tonight through the 2-2-1 at Berlin Brothers Valley early on. But have pretty much backed out of it most of the game. Right. Here's Prosser again looking for 2,000 career points. Prosser driving, and he'll scoop it up and in. That's 2,000 points in the career for Pace Prosser, and he ties this game up at 33. And they're not going to stop it here, Tony, on the road. Here's Braxton up top over to Calvin Winfrey. Winfrey floater out in front again, no good. Tipped around, Winfrey gets it back and lays it up and in. Nine for Calvin Winfrey. Uniontown back in the lead at 35 to 33. Prosser again out of his own zone. Prosser kicks it near side. Hutzel spots up for three, and he gets the lead back for the Mountaineers. Hayden Hutzel, five here in the third, seven for the game. Berlin Brothers Valley on top at 36 to 35. This team won't quit either, Brian. We said they're well coached. They're going to call that foul on. That's going to be on uh, Carson Jarvis. On a little bounce in there to Milsom. Yeah. So he's going to pick up his first foul. Has that's to be going to fun be the, for the two brothers to play together. Craig's senior year, Carson's freshman year at Berlin Brothers Valley. And that's actually going to be the fifth team foul here in the third quarter. So it's going to send Uniontown to the line. And Milsom will shoot a pair. Coach Prosser trying to get a little explanation there. First of two free throws, good for Milsom, who's 57% so far this season. 13 of 23. Game now tied at 36 with 2.03 left here in the third. And Craig Jarvis back into the game with four personal fouls. Wow, replacing his younger brother. That's a risky move. In a 36-36 game. Yeah, he came out with 5.23 to go in this game. I made a little note of it. Milsom makes the free throw. And at that time, Unitown was up 28-24. Now only up one. 37-36 after the second make from Milsom. Now Berlin Brothers Valley with the ball. Four over to Joseph Richardson. Pulled back deep. Three good again from Pace Prosser. He's tough, Tony. He is tough. <laughs> so Prosser's knocked down four threes in this game. And Berlin Brothers Valley now leads Uniontown 39-37. 23 points for Prosser. Milsom spinning out in front, couldn't get that one to go, but Notorious Grimm's offensive rebound fouled on the putback attempt. And that foul may be on Jarvis. We'll check Let's it. see. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, no, they're going to call that on number one. They're going to call that on Richardson. Still think it's awfully risky to put Jarvis back in at this juncture of the game, especially with your team leading. Granted, they put him in when they were down one, but still... Well, As Grooms makes the first of two free throws, I'd let it play out a little bit more. I'll tell you what, though. That's, uh, that's, a, that's a risky move. Grooms' second free throw. Good again to tie this game at 39. So Notorious Grooms 4-4 four four from the free throw line. In fact, all of his points coming from the foul line in this game. 121 left in the third game, tied at 39. Now a foul called here on the Red Raiders as Prosser was driving. And they're going to call that on Winfrey. It's going to be his first. What you'd like second. To see, I'm sorry, you're going to be a second. So what you'd like to see on the Uniontown end on the backside here on the offensive side is have a clear out and have him take it at Jarvis. I Try agree. to pick that fifth foul yep. up. You have Jarvis with a basketball right now. Milsom guarding him. Sends it over to Prosser. Prosser comes near baseline. Tough shot, got it to go. He's a player, Tony. He is 25. And Berlin Brothers Valley back up two at 41-39 to as we approach the one-minute mark of this third quarter. I'll tell you what, he takes the ball to the basket strong, Brian. I mean, there's no stopping him there. Winfrey, a little miscommunication. Great save in front of the Uniontown bench there from Tory Grooms. 
Yeah, Winfrey thought that Milson was going to stay there, maybe take a three. You have Jarvis fronting Grooms, and pull it back to Hager. Kicked in the corner. Winfrey spotting up for the three. It's out the front of the rim, no good. Prosser, another rebound for Berlin Brothers Valley. Up to Jarvis. Jarvis driving back and put it off the glass and in. Craig Jarvis had to be careful there, sitting on four personal fouls, but his make gives the Mountaineers a four point lead over the Indian Town. Yeah, I actually thought Milson was going to stand there and try to take a charge and pick up that fifth foul on him, but kind of moved a little bit and got out of the way. I'd give it to Milsom, let, it take, let him take it baseline far side on Jarvis. We're going to have Braxton go between defenders and get it two to go. Nine for Jameer Braxton. Uniontown back to within two, and the Mountaineers need to hurry. Down to six seconds left here in the third quarter. Prosser kind of ran into Braxton. Braxton finds the loose ball. Braxton at the buzzer. Can't get it to go. So Berlin Brothers Valley will take the lead heading into the fourth quarter. Mountaineers 43, Red Raiders 41. We're back with a fourth and 60 here in the CR Prada Group High School Sports Set. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Introducing Target Safety Solutions Division, LLC. Located at 94 Atlas Road in Uniontown, Target Safety Solutions specializes in vehicle calibrations after a vehicle is involved in a collision. Target Safety Solutions can perform vehicle alignments, state inspections, minor mechanical repairs, including brakes and suspension work, as well as tire replacement. And their alignment machine can accommodate lower vehicles, DOE trucks, and box trucks. Vehicles are now made with many safety features in order to keep their occupants safe. That is the reason Target Safety Solutions was originated. The new state-of-the-art facility at Target Safety Solutions is open from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. They are currently taking new customers and accepting commercial and fleet accounts as well. Nick and Mike are ready to provide you with fast, friendly, professional service. Call Nick at 724-562-2960. That's 724-562-2960 for Target Safety Solutions, located at 94 Atlas Road in Uniontown. Fourth quarter underway, Berlin Brothers Valley with the basketball leading Uniontown 43-41. to Three up top, Jarvis. Out the front of the rim, no good. Uniontown the rebound, Tony. Yeah, and a little bit different third quarter there, Brian. As we said, both teams only scoring in single digits. And here's Winfrey driving far baseline, scooping it up and in. Calvin Winfrey with 11. This game tied at 43 with 7.26 left in regulation. Both teams scoring in single digits in that second quarter, but both of them scoring 20 in the third. So this is the kind of basketball we were expecting to see. Hutzel playing catch there with Jarvis. Again, Jarvis out there with four personals. Send it around the... Arc on the far side, back to Prosser. Prosser going over 2,000 career points here this afternoon. It's 25, trying to add to it, and connects on the jumper from the far elbow. That's 27 for Pace Prosser, and Berlin Brothers Valley back in the lead at 45-43. to Yeah, might have got away with another push off there as well, but... I was thinking that too. Yep. Braxton for three in the lead, back for Uniontown. Spins it in from up top. Jameer Braxton now a double figures with 12. Uniontown back in the lead, 46-45. But a quick three from Jarvis in front of the Berlin Brothers Valley bench gives the Mountaineers the lead back. That's 12 for Jarvis. And what do we got here? No, they just want the net. The net. net's tied up, yeah. I got you. Net was tied up, and they just wanted to get it down. So, so it's 48-46. Berlin Brothers Valley over Uniontown, 637 left in regulation. Jarvis going to take a seat here. They're going to save him for the end of this fourth quarter, Dance obviously, smart. with those four fouls. Get him out for a little bit. Braxton up top. McLee back to Jameer. Just hit a three from that same spot. This time he's going to take it on the inside. He'll fold it up. Wouldn't drop that time. Pross to the rebound. Home run ball down the court. It's going to be intercepted. Looking there for Hutzel. Taken away by Tory Grooms. Yep. Off to Jeremiah Hager and across. Touched De by Calvin in front of the Uniontown bench. I'm sorry, I was going to say defensive back. <laughs> Notorious yes. Grooms on that play. Here's Calvin in traffic. What's the call there? Yeah, knocked out of bounds. Will be Uniontown's basketball. Yeah, Winfrey was trying to drive, and it was just poked away there by the Mountaineers, so Uniontown to retain possession underneath their own hoop. Kadre McLee to send it in. Uniontown down two, 6 8 Left here in the fourth. McLee into Braxton. Back outside again to Winfrey. And now Braxton again. Switches back with Kadrian. Between the circles now to Calvin. Far side again to Jameer. 
Jameer coming baseline, far side. He'll lean in and get it to go to tie the game up at 48. For Braxton, it's five here in the fourth, 14 for the game. 5.49 left here in regulation. Prosser up top, Richardson setting the screen. Prosser takes another deep three. This one in and out. Long rebound. Calvin finds it here for Uniontown. Winfrey leaning back in on Prosser. Couldn't get it to go. Grooms the rebound in traffic. Puts it back up and in. Notorious Grooms now with six. And Uniontown back in the lead at 50-48. to 48. Great follow there by Grooms just to go in the bigs and come out with that offensive rebound and put back. 5.23 left here in regulation. Prosser up top. Prosser a little kick out in the corner. Four for three. No good. Grooms the rebound. Notorious, great job there crashing in for the board. Back across, you had Prosser reaching yeah. in, contact down low, charge call there on Torrey. Yeah, Grooms just a little out of control, and four held his position there, and Grooms ran him over. So Notorious Grooms picking up, it's only his first foul of the game. So first team foul as well for Uniontown in this fourth quarter. Well, the timeout with 5-10 left in regulation. Uniontown 50, Berlin Brothers Valley 48. We're back at 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. The T. Barry Law Office and Attorney Vincent M. T. Barry would like to thank everyone who voted them Best Law Firm and Criminal Defense Attorney in the 2023 Best in Fayette Contest. The T. Barry Law Office specializes in criminal defense, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. The T. Barry Law Office is located at 84 East Main Street, across the street from the Fayette County Courthouse in Union Town. Make your first call to Attorney Vincent M. Tberry in the Tberry Law Office. Phone 724-430-0300 or visit their new website at tberrylawoffice.com. The Tberry Law Office. Small town, big results. Union Town Mayor Bill Gerke wishes our student-athletes a great winter sports season. Mayor Gerke would also like to wish Union Town head coach Ralph Kazmarski and the Union Town Red Raiders basketball team the best of luck this year. As the mayor of Union Town and proud graduate of Union Town Area High School, Mayor Gerke is happy to see our student-athletes working hard, both in the classroom and in their athletic events. Back here at Uniontown High School. Jarvis with a basketball for Berlin Brothers Valley. They trail by two, and Craig Jarvis missing a 10-footer there in Uniontown. The rebound, Tony, as we go under five minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and you got to wonder now, it looks like Uniontown might try to slow this down a little bit. They're going to call another timeout. With 4.46 left here in the fourth. Red Raiders up 50-48. to 48. We're back in 60 on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Day. From chips and cracks to splits and shatters, if you need new glass, Fay West Glass Company is the one to call. Fay West Glass has served Fayette and Greene counties for over 25 years and specializes in residential glass installations and replacements, plus commercial and industrial glass. So when that window's busted or that sliding door shattered and you can't wait, Fay West is available. 724-439-8600. That's 724-439-8600. Proudly local and veteran-owned Fay West Glass will earn your business. <laughs> Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even watch it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. As we, as we come back, McKelvey four, picking up his second personal foul on the floor for Berlin Brothers Valley. Uniontown stays with the basketball up to Braxton trying to go up. His shot partially blocked there by Prosser, but Braxton able to get it back, and Uniontown resets here high on the right with Tory Grooms. 4.24 left in regulation. Uniontown the basketball up 50-48. to 48. Braxton up top over to Jeremiah Hager. Hager spinning out on the inside, will turn and shoot. Put out the front of the rim, no good, and Hayden Hutzel the rebound there for Berlin Brothers Valley. Yeah, good look there by Hager. Just couldn't get that little floater to go. Here's Prosser again between defenders. Drew another foul. And he'll have two free throws upcoming here. Again, Pace Prosser, 27 points here this afternoon. Came in 20 points shy of 2,000 for his career. Went over that 2,000-point mark back in the third quarter. An opportunity again here at the free throw line to tie this game up if you can knock a pair of free throws down. Foul went on Calvin Winfrey, his third. First of two free throws. Good for Pace Prosser. Prosser showing why he scored 2,000 points. Great offensive player. Playing good defense, yes. too, for Berlin Brothers Valley. But tell you what, he's got some tools. Prosser second of two. This one rattling out. And Kadri McLee, the rebound there for Uniontown. 
Off and across to Tory Grooms. Near wing Calvin Winfrey. I think it was tipped out of bounds. It was by McKelvey Four. Yeah, Four with a near steal there. Good anticipation. But just couldn't corral that pass. 3.59 left here on the fourth. Goes in again to Tory Grooms. Tory pulling it back to Jameer Braxton. Braxton directing traffic there. Switches back again with Calvin Winfrey. Calvin working off to his left. Over to Braxton again. Braxton near elbow. Must slip three gains. Jumper on the way off the mark. Ball tipped around underneath. Tory Grooms finds it. Resets again to Milsom. Out again to Tory. He needs to have the basketball and a one-point lead. Tory coming back inside. And traffic floats it up. Shot attempt no good, but he's fouled. And that one might go on Richardson, I think. Yeah, I think so. They're going to call the block on Richardson. That'll be his third. Yeah, he thought it was a charge, but kind of slid underneath Grooms as he went to the basket. Groom's kind of quiet here today, only four points. Oh, six, actually. This will put, put him at yeah, seven. Sorry. He misses on the first of two free throws. That's his first free throw miss of the afternoon. He was four of four, now four of five, so the Indian Town lead remains at one. Can't add today, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Tough math day for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Two free throws good for Notorious Grooms. Did you stay out too late last night? Yes. 51-49, <laughs> Union Town, Berlin Brothers Valley with the basketball back, 322 left in regulation. Prosser driving, a little turn and shoot. That time came up short. And Calvin Winfrey, the rebound there for Union Town. Rare miss for Prosser from the field. Rare miss, but good defense there by Winfrey. Made him work for that shot. Had to fade away to try to make it and just couldn't get it to go. Here's Torrey, pulling it out there to Kellen Milsom. Now Torrey again, high on the right, in front of there by Hutzel. Tory on the inside, tough shot, drew the foul again. They're going to call that on Hutzel. Grooms was looking for the screen up top, just used the speed to go the other way. Just the first on Hutzel in the act. So Tory Grooms heading back to the free throw line here for Uniontown. Opportunity to extend this to a two possession game. Red Raiders up 51 to 49, 256 left here in the fourth. First of two free throws, no good again for Tory Grooms. Came at 81%. For the season from the foul line, 39 of 48. Uniontown as a team entering the weekend at 70%. Torrey's second of two free throws. This one is good. Give him eight points for the game and extend the Uniontown lead to three at 52 to 49. Yeah, under three to go here in this fourth quarter. Prosser brings it back across. Here's Pace Prosser for three and the tie. Good look, went in and out. And Torrey Grooms another rebound for Uniontown. So the Mountaineers going a little cold. They're down three. 2.39 to play. Uniontown trying to pull this one out on their home floor. Braxton resetting back in front. McAlee could get it to go. Tory Grooms, though, the follow. Another make for Uniontown. His dad, Reggie's fired up underneath the basket. Well, and a lead at 5 at 54 to 49. Yeah, and a great job. Again, nice follow up by Grooms to get the offensive rebound and the putback. Prosser had it poked there by Winfrey, but able to keep at it. Here's Prosser, thought about the deep three, hands it off to his right to Craig Jarvis. Again, Jarvis out there with four personals. Little flip back over to McKelvey. Four floater on the lane. No good. Rebound tipped around and controlled by Kadrian McLee. So it's been a tough fourth quarter for the Berlin Brothers Valley Mountaineers. They now trail by five with 154 left here in the fourth. And again, only scoring six points here in this fourth quarter. They're going to have to get aggressive defensively. Here's Winfrey switching back with Grooms. Calvin again trying to go in the corner. Deflected out of bounds there by Prosser. Now that was a good block by Prosser because they had Braxton wide open in the far corner. He would have had a wide open baseline to go to the hoop. You're going to pull Jarvis out here, give him a quick breather with the Mountaineers being on the defensive side of the ball. Don't want him to pick up a fifth foul. See a lot of these offense for defense substitutions here in the final two minutes. Grooms was double teamed. Touch from McLee down to Milsom far side, and he got hit up high. It looks like he took a pretty good shot there. I think it's going to be on Prosser. With 1.32 to play. So Prosser picks up his third. Fourth team foul of the fourth quarter against Berlin Brothers Valley. Now Jeremiah Hager will check in for Kellen Milsom. It was nine shooting. And just the fourth foul of the quarter. So Union Town will trigger it in left of the basket. The Mountaineers zone as Jeremiah Hager pulls it back there to Calvin Winfrey. Switching back with Tory Grooms. Touch there from Jeremiah Hager. Down low, Ow. but over the head of Hager and out of bounds and back over to the Mountaineers. Yeah, good pass there by Braxton, but Hager just, I don't know what happened there. I know it hit the net, but 
just kind of lost sight of it a little bit. 125 to play. Mountaineers down five. It's sent in to Hayden Hutzel. Touched up to Prosser. Prosser across. And Prosser, did he lose it out of bounds? Eight that. We're going to say no touch call. there by yeah. Calvin. Yeah, they're going to say that Winfrey poked it out of bounds. Uh, Mountaineers will send it back in 119 to play. Berlin Brothers Valley trails Uniontown 54 to 49. Jarvis to work it in high speed, brought down by Prosser outside the three-point arc. Watch there by Winfrey and Prosser steps to his right and connects on the three. So Prosser 31 points for Berlin Brothers Valley here this afternoon. They're back to within two, 54-52 Uniontown. 111 to play. We're back in 60 on the CR Product Group High School Sports Day. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Colorectal cancer is common and often lethal. Screening is preventative and should begin at age 45, unless a person has a strong family history of colon cancer when 40 is the recommended age. Doctors Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Hoppy, and I encourage everyone to follow these guidelines as this can be a lifesaver. For more information, call our team at U.S. Digestive Health. 724-437-7677. Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer litigated over 275 civil and criminal trials, some of which have been aired on Oprah, Inside Edition, and ESPN. Having an engineering degree, master's in business administration, and law degree qualifies him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. His firm concentrates in wills, trusts, estates, property transfers, personal injury, solar field and Marcellus gas negotiations, and family law. Small enough to care and smart enough to win. Phone 724-425-1162 or email Tommy Schaefer at Hotmail.com. Uniontown up 54-52, to 52, 111 to play. And, Tony, you pointed out to me during the last break that foul was incorrectly posted on the Berlin Brothers Valley side. Should have been on Prosser. It was posted on two. There's no two on the floor. Correct. Now that foul is going to be on McKelvey four. And that's going to – should send – Calvin Winfrey to the line. And that foul goes on four, as you said, Tony, his third personal. Right. Fifth team fouls. They're over the limit here in the fourth quarter, and you'll have Calvin shooting a pair of free throws. Still a lot of time left. Actually, no time went off the clock. It was 111 going into that last time out, and it's still 111 on the score yeah. clock. Uh, if anything, though, it probably was only like a second. The Winfrey will shoot two. With the lead at two for Union Town. First of two free throws, no good for Calvin Winfrey. Calvin, a 65% free throw shooter on the year. Now for a second of two. Up on the way, and again, no good. Need a rebound here, and it's brought down, though, by Prosser. So Berlin Brothers Valley down two with the basketball. Prosser up top for three in the lead. This one off the mark, looking for an offensive rebound. They got it from Jarvis, who was fouled underneath. They're going to call that foul on Grooms coming across Jarvis's head as he got that offensive rebound. So it's going to send Jarvis to the line. Jarvis, a 79% free throw shooter. Three for three from the line here today. Just a second on Torrey. A ruled in the axe. So Jarvis was 12 points. First of two free throws here. Good for Craig Jarvis. Now Jarvis came in 1,480 career points. He needed 20 to go over 1,500 for his career. Has just 14. Check that. 13 so far in this game. Now make it 14 with a made free throw. And it's now tied at 54, Berlin Brothers Valley and Union Town all knotted up with 101 left here in regulation. Good game. Yes, and Notorious Grooms will bring it back across here for Union Town. Fronted there by Hayden Hutzel. Switching back with Calvin Winfrey. Now a touch from Jameer Braxton. Braxton bouncing it back to Tory again. Holds here high on the right. Watched by McKelvey four. How far down will Union Town take it, Tony, with this game knotted up? I'll tell you what, at this point in time, <laughs> I would think they're going to take it all the way down unless they get a wide open shot. Down to 32 seconds left in regulation. Calvin operating up top. Pulling it back here to Torrey Grooms. He's double teamed. Notori is staying with in the corner to Braxton. Ball fake on the three back to Torrey. 20 seconds left. Torrey and Braxton play catch. Torrey has it again here high on the right. You're right, Tone. They're going to take it all the way down. 13 seconds left here in the fourth. So Union Town might have a shot here to win it. Here's Winfrey on the far wing, over to Braxton, seven seconds left. Back to Winfrey again, driving, tough shot in traffic. Got it to go with four seconds left. And drew the foul. And that's, it looks like it's going to be on Jarvis. <coughs> and if that is, it's going to be his last foul of the game. 
Not over yet, though. Still have four seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Good basket, and it is going to be on Jarvis. So Jarvis fouls out after scoring 14 points with four seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And we'll have a timeout, 56-54 Uniontown. This will be a full timeout. We're back at 60 on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Day. Chris Parker, Jr., what's going on for February at Auto Land Hyundai? Well, this year's leap year. There's President's Day, and don't forget Valentine's Day. Interest rates have been high, but you'll love this. 0% financing available on 2024 Tucson's and new 2023 Santa Fe. Or up to $9,000 savings off select all-wheel drive Santa Fe. And here's another sweetheart of a deal. Lease a 2024 Elantra SE for only $199 per month. Just see us for details. What else do you have going on? Well, President's Day reminds us of great leadership. Just as Hyundai leads the way by offering Hyundai Owner Assurance, America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain protection. And Leap Year is an extra day. So with Hyundai's sales event cash, you'll save an extra $1,000 on all new remaining 2023 Hyundai. Plus three year, 36,000 mile free complimentary maintenance. Visit their website, autolandhyundai.com or stop by their location, 25 East Fayette Street in Union Town. And remember, you always pay less to drive the best at Autoland Hyundai. So back here at Union Town High School, four seconds left in regulation. Union Town a two-point lead, a 56 to 54. You'll have Calvin Winfrey here at the free throw line trying to convert the three-point play of one free throw. The Red Raiders defensively have a foul to give here as well, Tony. And now you're going to have another timeout taken by Berlin Brothers Valley, which is surprising because that's their last timeout. So we'll step aside for a quick 30, 56-54. We're back at 30 here on the CR Prana Group High School Sports Day. Bruston Chiropractic Studio is the new chiropractic office in town. Located inside Spin Unlimited, just behind the Texas Roadhouse, Dr. Stephen Lint and Dr. Brooke Sova are well-versed in the latest chiropractic and soft tissue techniques to help you get out of pain and functioning at your best. Call 724-912-6505 or go online at www.brustonwellness.com for more information or to schedule your appointment. Back here at Uniontown High School, according to the scoreboard, Tony, that was the last timeout that Berlin Brothers Valley had, which was surprising they would have taken it in that situation. They might need it here after this free throw from Calvin Winfrey. Yeah, they're going to try to see what's going on here. I guess they're saying there is one timeout left. Now they put another timeout back <laughs> on the scoreboard here for Berlin Brothers Valley. Again, he might, might have had some confusion there at the scores table, but... Turn our attention to the action. Winfrey's free throw is good. Uniontown leads now by three at 57 to 54. And now Berlin Brothers Valley will take their final timeout. Four seconds left. It'll be a 30-second timeout again. A 30-second timeout. 57-54. Uniontown are back in 30 on the CR Product Group High School Sports Day. On the go? No time to stop? That's when you'll love Peach and Pharmacy's curbside pickup at Peach and Market in downtown Connellsville. Next time you have a prescription to get, let Peach and Pharmacy make it easy for you. Call ahead at 724-626-9600 or send a message. Let friendly curbside pickup keep you right where you want to be, in the driver's seat. Peach and Pharmacy, your local pharmacy. So back here at Uniontown High School, four seconds left. Berlin Brothers Valley with the basketball. They're down three at 57-54. They're now out of timeouts officially and have to go the length of the floor. And you got to figure that's going to be in Pace Prosser's hands. I agree. <laughs> and you're right, Uniontown does have a foul to give. McKelvey, four, is the trigger man left to the basket in his own zone. So four to send it in. Little touch there from Prosser. Prosser with three. Prosser with two. Prosser for the tie in it. What a big shot! That was deep! And we're tied at 57. 30 feet there, Tom? Yeah, easily 30 feet. Right in front of us. What a shot from Pace Prosser to send us into overtime. Wow. He is a player. Yes, he is a player. No we're doubt, Brian. And that shot right there, I mean, <laughs> he just stepped back. He created a little space. Like, I can't believe that they even let him get the shot off. Unbelievable. Headed to overtime. Back with the overtime session in 60. Tied at 57 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Day. 
When your car is damaged, the name to remember is Ted Silva and Son Body and Fender Repair. Currently in their 61st year of providing quality, reliable service to the community, Ted Silva and Son offers complete collision service, minor to major repairs, frame and unibody repairs, and glass installation. They'll gladly blueprint your vehicle for repair, and they'll work with your insurance company. With a paint booth that utilizes the environmentally friendly waterborne paint process, Ted Silva and Son not only cares for our community and our children, they care for our environment. Located on Atlas Road in Hopwood, it's the goal of Ted Sova and Son to alleviate the stress of an accident and assist you in any way possible. Take it from me, Matt Sapienza, an actual satisfied customer. Call 724-437-2351 for Ted Sova and Son Body and Fender Repair, LLC. Family owned and operated for 61 years. Always proud to support local high school sports. Here we go for the first overtime. Union Town with the basketball working right to left. They win the opening tap. Jeremiah Hager over to Notorious Grooms. No look feed. In traffic to Catering McLee. Count the basket and the foul. And a great pass there by Grooms to find McLee. That's going to be a foul on Hutzel. It's only his second, but it's going to send McLee to the line. And again, great look. Grooms just drew the defense to him. Dropped it down for Cadre McLee for the easy layup. And again, he had Craig Jarvis already foul out with four seconds left in regulation for Berlin Brothers Valley. But what a game for Pace Prosser going over 2,000 career points. He scored 34 here for the Mountaineers. Missed free throw from Kadri McLee, but they get an offensive rebound on a little tip out to Calvin. So Uniontown leads it here 59-57, 340 left here in overtime. Yeah, nice job by Hager to tip that ball out. Uniontown retained possession. Here's Grooms working off to his right, pulling it off to Calvin. Calvin needed a little help there, couldn't touch it again. Would have been a double dribble and got it from Hager. Back to Calvin again. Calvin working off to his left. Now swinging it over to Braxton. Braxton, no look feed down to Cadre and again. Pulling it back out in front, Jeremiah Hager driving and scoring. So basically a four-point possession there for Uniontown. Red Raiders lead at 61-57. to And a good pass there by McLee to find Hager cutting straight to the hoop. Here's Prosser again, hit the 30-foot three to send this one into regulation, and they rule it out of bounds off of Burley Brothers Valley. And Coach Tanner Prosser very unhappy with it. Officials getting together, they might correct it. Yeah, I think they are going to correct it. No? No, they're not. Wow. Yeah, I couldn't see from this side. Yeah, we didn't have a great view of it. No, we did not. Tanner Prosser had a great view of it, though. <laughs> right in front of the Mountaineers bench. And now Winfrey pulling it back walk. there to Hager. It is. Travel call there on Jeremiah Hager. And as our good buddy Steve Superk would say, if the call was wrong in the streets of New Jersey or New Brunswick, <laughs> the ball never lies. The right? ball never lies yeah, is never right. Goes. That's right. <laughs> Soup's famous line. Yes. So the Mountaineers get it back. Prosser again bringing it back across. And over to McKelvey Ford. Top now, Richardson switching back there with Prosser. Prosser, another fadeaway three up top. This one no good. Big rebound in traffic there. Hutzel pulled it back down, needs help. That and a timeout, timeout granted there for the Mountaineers bench. 61-57, Uniontown 233 left here in overtime. We're back at 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Day. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com and find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Hey, you looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle? Well, look no more. Because with over 200 vehicles, Gary's Auto Sales is the largest used car dealer in the area. Whether you want a car, a truck, or an SUV, you'll absolutely find what you're looking for at Gary's. Gary's has been in business since 1974. You can visit them online at garysautosales.com or you can give them a call at 724-626-8080. Gary's Auto Sales. Many miles, many smiles. Back here at Uniontown High School. 61-57, Uniontown leading. We're in overtime with 2.33 left here in the first overtime session. And Pace Prosser pacing the way for Berlin Brothers Valley with 34. 
The Red Raiders getting a couple of big baskets from Jeremiah Hager and Kadrian McLee here in overtime, but it's Berlin Brothers Valley with the basketball, and it's floated in to McKelvey Four. Has it here on the near elbow. Works off to his right. Four looking to come baseline. Good defense there from Calvin Winfrey. Shovel it back again to Pace Prosser. Pace fronted there by Jeremiah Hager. Well, double team comes over. Pace now directs traffic. 2.15 left in overtime. Pace, another three on the way, hit it again. 37 points for Pace Prosser. You can't stop him, Tony. Well, he had Cager McLee in his face. I mean, I thought McLee was going to get another block out of that, but Prosser able to get it over his outstretched arm and knock down another three. He's one of the best overall players we've seen all season. No doubt about it. No doubt about it is right. He's got seven threes on the day. 37 points. Berlin Brothers Valley back to within one. Uniontown slowing the tempo down a little bit. 145 to play. Jameer Braxton with the basketball. Fronted there by Prosser. Braxton off to his right again to Torrey Grooms in the corner to Jeremiah Hager. Hager playing catch there with Grooms. Pulled back to Calvin here high on the right. I think they want Berlin Brothers Valley to come out here and foul. 126 to play. Braxton will contact there with McKelvey four, and Braxton will head now to the free throw line to shoot two. And the fouls do carry over from the fourth quarter into overtime. Again, they reset every quarter. They don't reset though for the overtime session. Right. So now you're going to have Braxton going to the line. Now it's the fourth personal on McKelvey four. Braxton with 14 on the day. Trying to extend it. First of two free throws, good for Jameer Braxton. And again, Braxton 80% so far this season from the free throw line. Lead at two for Uniontown at 62 to 60. Now Milsom going to check in and Hager going to take a little breather. Braxton now for a second. Up on the way, and this one rattling in for Jameer Braxton. So a 16-point performance so far for Jameer. Lead at three for Uniontown. Prosser spinning back, kicks it out for three in the tie near side. Too strong there from four. But they got an offensive rebound. Somehow Prosser found it. And a foul called here on the Red Raiders. How did Prosser find that ball to I don't know. <laughs> They're going to call that foul on Winfrey. So that's Winfrey's fourth foul. Correct. So now he's got to be careful as well. With 112 to play. That was nine shooting. That was the fourth team foul against Uniontown here in the fourth quarter in overtime. Off the inbounds pass, it goes to four. Again, Berlin Brothers Valley down three, but his pass a little too far extended there for Prosser. Lost it out of bounds. Uniontown will get it back with 105 to play up three at 63 to 60. Yeah, and he just thought that Prosser was cutting to the basket. Just a little out of his reach. So now full court pressure applied here by the Mountaineers. Don't see too many... Teams press Uniontown much. Goes into Winfrey. Calvin out of his zone. Zone over to Jameer Braxton. Back to Calvin again. Take it down the far boundary and across. Calvin staying with it. Fronted there by Prosser. Calvin now in front of the Uniontown bench. Resets high on the right. Some fancy dribbling from Calvin Winfrey with 50 seconds left. And Uniontown up three. Near side grooms. He's double teamed and fouled. That could be it for four. You had both four and Prosser around him. They're going to call it. Prosser. Yeah, it's going to be on Prosser. So now he's got four fouls. Well, he has three according to the scoreboard, but we think he has four. No, he, he has four. <laughs> that was the one that went up for number two. I agree, but yeah. imagine the controversy, Tony. If he picks up another foul, yeah. you're going to have some issues down there. Grooms to the foul line. Knocks down the first of two here for Uniontown. That 11 a, points for Notorious. Yeah, and that was a big shot to take it to a two-possession lead. Four-point lead now, and Grooms... To try to extend it to five. 64 to 60. Berlin Brothers Valley out of timeouts as well. Second of two free throws. Good again for Notorious Grooms. Grooms with 12. And the Uniontown lead at five. With 43 seconds left here in overtime. Prosser taking it right to the basket. Got rejected by Kadrian McLee. Great block by McLee. Also able to avoid the foul and just swatted it out of bounds. And he's got to have about seven or eight blocks here today, Brian. And you look at the game Prosser's had as well, 37 of the 60 for Berlin Brothers Valley. Trying to add to it. He's triple team, swatted there by Milsom. Ball tied up, and the Red Raiders get it back. Great defense there on the Uniontown side. And now four will commit the foul here on Jameer Braxton. He's done. And that's going to be his fifth. So four fouling out, 30 seconds left here in overtime. 65 to 60, Uniontown. Red Raiders an opportunity now to seal it here at the free throw line. 
Yeah, yeah, you make two foul shots here. It's a three-possession game. Correct. Pretty tough for Berlin Brothers Valley to come back from that. You go back and you look at that Jarvis fifth foul with four seconds left in regulation. And, yes, Prosser kept them in the game by extending it. But without Jarvis on the floor, I think it's really made a big difference for Berlin Brothers Valley here in this overtime. Oh, most definitely. You took one of your top scorers off the floor. I mean, he ended up with 14 for the game. But once he fouled out, really nobody else to look for in this overtime session. Braxton makes the first of two free throws. Lead at six now at 66 to 60. Not having a timeout also hurts as well on the Mountaineers side. Yeah, this is the big shot here. Make it a three possession game. Braxton's free throw good. 18 for Jameer Braxton. 67 to 60 Uniontown. Prosser bringing it back across. Prosser another three attempt near wing. That one short. Rebound. Notorious Scrims now just about do it. Should do it. Lead at seven. 20 seconds left in overtime. Across to Winfrey, and Winfrey fouled with 16.5 left. <laughs> well played game on both sides. Both teams playing hard here this afternoon. And Uniontown about to pull it out again. Berlin Brothers Valley came into the game 19 and 1. Their only loss against Greensburg Central Catholic. Uniontown 18 and 3. They're about to go to 19 and 3 with a win here, but took an extra session. Calvin Winfrey first of two free throws. No good off the back iron. He's missed his last three free throw attempts. Yes, he has. Only one for four from the line here today. This has been one of the better games we've seen all season. Yes, it has been. Calvin, second of two free throws. No good again. Prosser, another rebound. Just a little life here for Berlin Brothers Valley. Prosser, another three up top. Came up short. Rebound underneath. Matthew Miller trying to keep it alive. Kicks it out far side. Three missed there from Hutzel. And it went over the glass. Out of play. And Uniontown will get it back with 4.4 left. And Coach Tanner Prosser said, that's it, guys. Back off, and we'll end it. Calling off the dogs. And Uniontown inbound and a well-fought overtime win for Rob Kazmarski's Uniontown Red Raiders. In overtime, Uniontown wins it 67-60. Stay tuned for our postgame. Show's brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. Comes your way next year on WBS, the Live High School Sports Network, and Facebook Live. Ready to update your home? Find what you need at Zen's Construction Warehouse. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff will be happy to help you the old-fashioned way. They'll answer your questions and get you started on your next home project. Conveniently located at 485 Walnut Hill Road in Continental. Zen's is open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 2. For more information, call 724-366-8274 or visit Zen's Construction Warehouse's Facebook page. Zen's Construction Warehouse, their surplus is your savings. My name is Terry Kahn, and I'm a paralegal at Radcliffe Law, now Radcliffe Martin Law. It's exciting to work with the next generation of lawyers here in Uniontown. I've worked at several firms in Uniontown and worked on cases against the big firms in Pittsburgh. And I must say, they're no match for Tripp, Bill, and Rob. Their combined caring and integrity are second to none. Radcliffe Martin Law, your local injury attorneys. Give us a call at 724-439-3939 or like us on Facebook. Where can you go these days and have your gas pump for you? Oil checked and windshield cleaned? Joby's Golf, that's where. Joby's Golf is conveniently located at the corner of Fayette and Basin Boulevard. Joby's Golf is a fast, friendly, full-service gas station that has been serving the Uniontown area for 50 years. Joby's Golf offers lockout services, a fenced-in storage lot, and it's a AAA 24-hour car and light truck towing service. Call 724-438-0681. Your health is the most important thing to you. When you need physical therapy, find the best clinic to serve you. Movement Physiotherapy, now located off Route 40 on Pedro Drive, west of Uniontown, understands this and wants to help ease the stress. Tyler Gasick has over 10 years of experience helping people improve their health with physical therapy and is ready to help you. Tyler's from the Uniontown area and is committed to helping improve his community. To schedule your appointment, phone 724-912-PTPT or visit Movement Physiotherapy online at movementpp.com. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. Looking for the highest quality products at the lowest prices? 
shop and save on Walnut Hill in Uniontown is the widest selection of brands and the freshest offerings around. They specialize in your family's grocery needs. Save big and sign up for the Shop and Save Perks card to get money-saving benefits and discounts on gas. Shop and Save. Walnut Hill Road, Uniontown, open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Working hard to offer you the best at Shop and Save because it's the just right thing to do. Bad hair day? Bad day at the office? Bad day behind the wheel? Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sproul's Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprawlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. Pizza, beer, atmosphere. It's all at Mom Maruka. Pizza, located on Barton Mill Road in Uniontown. Mom Maruca's is your prime spot to enjoy local high school sports. Family owned and operated, the Sampson family carries on the tradition of homemade pizza, salads, wings, and the best Italian hoagie and homemade bruschetta in town. Mom Maruca's is open Monday through Saturday from 4 to 10 for indoor and outdoor dining and takeout. Don't forget Mom's catering services for your next party or gathering. Call 724-438-9066 or visit MomMarucaPizza.com for their menu and live music schedule. The Catholic War Veterans post 1669 in Hopwood is a veterans organization located in Fayette County since 1950. They are proud to advertise on WMBS sports programs and to contribute to the Veterans Hospital, local sports teams, and scouting organizations. Best of luck to all of our local teams from the Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood. Back here at Uniontown High School at a game we saw here this afternoon. Uniontown winning it in overtime, 67-60 to in that overtime period. Tony Key, Red Raiders outscoring the Mountaineers 10-3. Yeah, and a great overtime for the Red Raiders, as you said. And really, yeah, they just kind of bottled up Prosser a little bit yes. in that overtime period. He only had three points. But uh, one of those things were a nice win by the Unitown Red Raiders. A very good win to keep momentum going, especially getting into the playoffs next week. Again, our postgame show brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. Tony, as your postgame stats, they're brought to you by First Federal Savings Loan Association of Greene County. All right, for the victorious Unitown Red Raiders, who improved to 19-3 and overall, they were led today by Jameer Braxton. Braxton had 18 points, four of those coming in the overtime session, and actually 16 of his points coming in the second half. He was followed by 12 points by Notorious Grooms, 14 points from Calvin Winfrey. Jeremiah Hager had 11, six points by Kadrian McLee, and six points by Kellen Milsom. Unitown scored 13 in the first, eight in the second, 20 in the third, 16 in the fourth, and 10 in the in the overtime session for their total of 67. They were 17 for 24 from the foul line today. Only two made threes, Brian, which is hard to believe, but Braxton had one and Calvin Winfrey had the other. On the other side for the Berlin Brothers Valley Mountaineers, they were led by Prace Prosser, who had 37 points. As you mentioned, Brian, went over the 2,000-point mark in the third quarter. He had seven made threes in today's game. He was followed by Craig Jarvis with 14 Seven points from Hayden Hutzel and two points from Matt Miller. 16 in the first, seven in the second, 20 in the third, 14 in the fourth, and only three points in that overtime session for their total of 60. As we mentioned, nine made three, seven by Pace Prosser, one by Hayden Hutzel, and one by Craig Jarvis. And they were 13 for 15 from the foul line here today. And as I said to you, Tony, I think Prosser is the best individual player we've seen all season long. By far. Yeah. By far. And I tell you what, he's he's got some tools. He's a great offensive player and played good defense today I as agree. well. He's uh, he, He's got a lot of talent, boy. We're trying to find out. We did not get any word where he's headed to college at. But if he is not committed anywhere and you're a college coach, you got to pull this kid in. I, mean, I would think so, yeah. He is Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, great, great player. And, I'll tell you what, anybody who watches that game right there, he, he should get recruited real quick. And 67 to 60, your final in overtime. You need to sound over Berlin Brothers Valley. We're back with a final word right after this here on WMBS, the Tribune High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. Bad hair day, bad day at the office. 
bad day behind the wheel? Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sproul's Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprawlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all Bruce states. Bruce Chiropractic Studio is the new chiropractic office in town. Located inside Spin Unlimited, just behind the Texas Roadhouse, Dr. Stephen Lint and Dr. Brooke Sova are well-versed in the latest chiropractic and soft tissue techniques to help you get out of pain and functioning at your best. Call 724-912-6505 or go online at www.brucedandwellness.com for more information or to schedule your appointment. Introducing Target Safety Solutions Division, LLC. Located at 94 Atlas Road in Uniontown, Target Safety Solutions specializes in vehicle calibrations after a vehicle is involved in a collision. Target Safety Solutions can perform vehicle alignments, state inspections, minor mechanical repairs, including brakes and suspension work, as well as tire replacement. And their alignment machine can accommodate lower vehicles, dual trucks, and box trucks. Vehicles are now made with many safety features in order to keep their occupants safe. That is the reason Target Safety Solutions was originated. The new state-of-the-art facility at Target Safety Solutions is open from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. They are currently taking new customers and accepting commercial and fleet accounts as well. Nick and Mike are ready to provide you with fast, friendly, professional service. Call Nick at 724-562-2960. That's 724-562-2960 for Target Safety Solutions, located at 94 Atlas Road in Uniontown. The Davis & Davis Law Firm has been helping injured people in Fayette County for over 45 years. If you've been injured and you need an attorney, call today. One of our six attorneys will come and meet with you if your situation is such that you can't come to us. We will not rest until we get the maximum amount of money for you that you deserve. I'm attorney James Davis, and I will fight for you. Call me today at 724-437-2799. dentures cracked, loose, broken, or missing a tooth, hey, maybe it's just time for a new set of dentures. If that's the case, check out Uniontown Dental Associates, located at 7829 National Pike in Uniontown. They can make you new dentures faster than other offices, and in most cases, can offer same-day denture repairs. They also offer teeth whitening, clear braces, and single-visit crowns. Just call their office for your appointment today at 724-438-0241, or visit their Facebook page for more information. m r Transit locally owned and operated by the Scott family, have been helping students travel safely to school in the Fayette County area for more than four years. Amadar Transit is a proud sponsor of the Laurel Highlands basketball team and wishes all the area teams good luck. For more information about Amadar Transit, call 724-439-3164. 724-439-3164. Or stop by their Uniontown office at 253 South Mount Vernon Avenue. Brian Rosak and Tony Hanula wrapping things up here at Uniontown High School tonight. The Red Raiders, a 67-60 to 60 overtime win over Berlin Brothers Valley. You're going to have to thank Billy Dice behind the camera on our Facebook Live video feed. And Nick Barczyk back inside our Davis & Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. And Tony, coming up on Monday at 2 p.m., the WPIL playoff selections will be passed along to the general public, including us. We'll post those on the WMBS Facebook page and all of our social media platforms. Now, for the postseason, we'll at least have audio coverage for you. We don't know about video coverage with the way the WPIL changed their rights agreements in the offseason. No longer does the Triple Live High School Sports Network, which we were an affiliate of, have first uh, right of refusal. We'll have all the games like they had in past seasons. Uh, the new rights holder for all the video feeds is the NFHS Network, which has all of their games behind a paywall. Now, if they pass on a broadcast, we have an opportunity to pick that up here on WMBS, but they do have exclusive rights, and if they pick up a game, we'll likely be blacked out of our, our video feed. So don't yell at Brian is what he's telling don't you. Don't, don't, don't yell at WMBS faults. because I will tell you if there's anything that they can do to broadcast a game, they will. So don't feel slighted if you don't see Uniontown by chance. Like I said, I, I had mentioned to Brian before I would put the WPIL's number and the PIA's number and have everybody call them because that's who you need to yell at. And again, just to pass along, also another thing that will likely block us from doing Uniontown's 
first playoff game. There is an NFHS camera that was installed a couple of years ago by an athletic director that's not Harry Kaufman, and it was not um, Aaron Scott either. <laughs> right. So that is going to likely black us out from doing the first Uniontown playoff game. Again, we're still working on a couple of things to try to work around that to bring the game to you, but if we do get blacked out of doing any kind of video coverage of the first round of the Red Raiders, that's likely going to be the case because of that camera being installed here in the gym. Right. And we, as we said, I mean, we want to do as many as of we can, we but it's one of those deals. But so. we'll again have audio coverage. We'll also put the audio up on the WNBS Facebook page as we kind of get into the middle of the week. We should have more clarification as far as what we can and can't do as far as the postseason. But it was certainly a fun one to wrap up the regular season with here this afternoon. That was a great game. And I'll tell you what, it was everything we expected. We thought it was going to be close. All these, uh, Both of these teams Great records and had a great year, and I'll tell you what, uh, it'll be interesting to see what both of them do in the playoffs. Uniontown wins at 67-60 to 60 in overtime. For Tony Hanul and Billy Dice behind the camera, this is Brian Morozak, and have yourselves a pleasant afternoon. Again, your final score, Uniontown 67 and Berlin Brothers Valley 60. Song everybody from Uniontown High School. Hey, guys.